computer. Right, okay. Right, um, this is a special Zoom um, from the THI members and also the TPC directors as well. All are here, I think, um, if uh, Holly got the right time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm here. <laughs> right, okay. I can feel the vibes on the back of my head. Right, uh, yeah, and uh, Harold uh, Tears from Germany, uh, originally, but uh, yeah, he had to float about around Europe, given certain concerns and threats and all kinds of other fun and games that you're all too familiar with at THI, uh, is here to present what are called the Cosmic Towers. And uh, we touched on it briefly in the Zoom call, and I'm hoping Harold uh, can uh, deliver what, he, what it is he's uh, produced along with his son. So Harold, if you can go in to a bit of the background of what's uh, brought forward this machine, and then we can go into some of the specifications and the details of it all. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay, welcome everybody and nice to see you, to hear you. Um, yeah, I give you a, a short overview on, on my past and my development. I'm actually a mechanical engineer. I studied in Eastern Germany and after German unification, I went two years to the United Arab Emirates, learning English, working there as a site manager, building a power plant and seawater desalination plants. Later on, I was working for an American company in Germany. Uh, they produce uh, um, fleece fabric Polartec, uh, comes from Walden Mills in the United States. And the inventor came to Germany, built up a textile company. I was working there as a technical director. Uh, but I had a very busy job. Um, then I had a family, two kids and a wife, and we built our own house. I planned everything myself. And by the way, I did the MBA uh, university uh, study at Nimbus and Bradford in England in order to uh, maybe become the um, CEO of that company uh, because the bosses uh, tried to retire. But on the other hand, my health deteriorated tremendously because I had a 16-hour work day job, six days a week. Now I was very successful, but it was a mess with my health. So that's how I got the burnout, and uh, the American company went bankruptcy. So far I got unemployed, and I got um, a financial cover-up of 30,000 euro. And I had time and money, and then I spent the time and the money in order to study health. Alternative medicine, I studied since 20 years now. I went deeper and deeper and deeper. It became more easy, simple, logical than I ever imagined. Uh, and in the end, I could measure it. As an engineer, you like to see, you measure to prove everything, not just to believe something. Uh, and my younger son, when he was 11 years, he told me, Daddy, we have a good water device in the house, but it is far beyond as it should be, as it could be. And then I said to him, okay, let's improve it. And he said, no, 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 this company has a totally wrong concept. We have to do it completely different. And I said, okay, then let's do it. Yeah, and my son had access to the higher dimensions. He could see subtle energies. He could see the aura around my body. He could see uh, huge blockages. And I had a problem with my right ear that I can't hear so well uh, because as a baby, they damage something inside. So, and he just gave me some healing, just he put his hand close to my ear one minute. And the next morning I had a, huge uh, piece of blood on my pillow in the bed and I was surprised what was going on, what kind of sun I have. So in this way <laughs> I, I went deeper and deeper yeah, and uh, I studied uh, the alternative medicine of course, water, the structure of water, the healing effects of water and so on and also the subtle energies. Yeah. I learned kinesiological testing, uh, measuring with a tensor and so on. Yeah, but on the other hand, I was also looking all of my life deeper in what makes sense on Earth, why we are here, what is uh, the creation, what has it done, uh, uh, what's going on in the universe, who is God, 
uh, how do we understand what all these uh, basic questions, religion, I knew from my earliest years something is a huge fake, something is totally wrong. I was never part of any religion, of any whatever uh, alternative uh, uh, things they are promoting, like yoga or, or Reiki or whatever, all this shit. I felt always from my inner side, it's shit, it's uh, negative. I don't like to have anything to do with it. I always followed my own way, and I had a very strong intuition. And my intuition, my inner feeling was so strong that I was really very good guided into the right direction, to the right people. I was prevented from wrong things and so on. So in that way, uh, actually, I developed with my son a machine that produced the perfect water, yeah, but also a perfect energy field. Yeah, we were working with free energy. The device had just uh, some uh, um, quartz crystal uh, sand inside and some bottles of water. Yeah, and uh, in the earlier beginning, we used some gems, gems yeah, to create the energy field. Later on, it was created by water. And these devices <coughs> produce a huge toroidal energy field. Yeah, a toroidal field that is turning clockwise, not counterclockwise, and it produces a scalar wave with a very positive energy. Yeah, that is the energy source uh, is one part yeah, to create a powerful energy field using a toroidal field like a chakra in the human body. These are also toroidal fields. We were creating this in, on a permanent basis without any electricity, without any cable, just using glass bottles with water with structured water, with plasma water. Now my son was able to create a plasma condition uh, using his hand and energizing water. Uh, this plasma condition is actually that you delete all cluster structures in water and you get a hexagonal structure water and therefore you get electrons, highly energetic water and therefore the water crystals could be um, directed um, and therefore, you could create with two circles of uh, glass bottles, you could create a toroidal field. Now, one circle you turn clockwise, the other one, uh, the downside circle counterclockwise. Yeah, and therefore, you have a toroidal field. So, and the toroidal field radiated frequencies of light. And our question was, where do we get the frequencies of light from? Yeah, you can generate it with a computer or something. However, we never did this. Yeah, I knew healing water has levitation. Yeah, it comes up to the surface with levitation, healing wells, artesic healing wells, and the levitation is caused by frequencies of light. Yeah, you have to understand the circle of water. Yeah, water is vaporized. Uh, you have the clouds on the sky, yeah, and then it rains down, it sinks into the ground, and then it runs through the ground with underground water lines. Yeah, and therefore, it gets in contact with crystals, with minerals. And each mineral has its um, frequency. Yeah, and water is storing frequencies, collecting frequencies. So and as soon as the water has a harmony of seven frequencies of light, yeah, rainbow colors, seven colors, however, from dark violet to a light violet, you have thousand intermediate violet colors, different frequencies. Yeah, and therefore, you can have very different overtone octaves, yeah, toroidal fields on a different starting point. Yeah, and this toroidal fields uh, cause levitation, yeah, but only when you have a harmony of the seven frequencies of light. So in each of our body is, has a certain frequency, any organ in the body. And this physical body consists of scalar waves, and scalar waves are created by toroidal fields. Therefore, our body consists of chakras. These are toroidal fields. Yeah, and these chakras are portals. And with a portal, you can suck subtle energy. Um, you can make it more dense, more density, higher, higher, higher. That is a zero-point energy field in the middle, the highest point of, of energy. And upstairs, you can radiate it with a different energy level, like physical matter. 
Yeah, these are portals from subtle energy to a more physical, uh, solid matter energy. Yeah. So, and this energy field we, we are cre creating and we put into the energy field a bottle with healing water. The question was only which kind of healing water? Only one well? Yeah, then you have just one overtone octave. The frequency may be just for one human organ, but not the whole spectrum of light. Yeah, and therefore, we went to a water scientist in Italy, Gudrun Dallavia, and she had a collection of 300 healing wells from all over the earth. Yeah, and my son could have a look at it, and he said, Daddy, I have to test now which of the healing waters fit together. That means there is no frequency double, yeah, because when you have a double frequency and the shift between them, you delete it or you amplify it and you destroy the overtone octave. And therefore it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, my son tested which healing waters have no double frequencies and which one we can put together in order to get the most complete spectrum of light. Yeah, and this one we did. Yeah, we selected many healing waters and we put them together. Good and Dalavia, she got headache when she saw it, when we were mixing healing wells, because she said, oh, you destroy everything now. My son was, my son was just smiling. You will see, have a look at it, you can test it. And she was totally surprised. Yeah, because there was no um, disruption, no disturbance, and we had a very, very, very complete spectrum of light in this healing water. And this healing water was put into each of those devices. Yeah, and the devices were quite powerful. We deleted radioactivity. Yeah, we were able to delete radioactivity. We had a soldier from the German army. Yeah, it was a group of soldiers, 10 or 12 people, and they were in Yugoslavia and in Afghanistan and Iraq, and they had to um, uh, get rid of uh, depleted uh, uranium ammunition. So, and that was radioactive material. And they got seriously ill, very, very, very ill. Yeah, and one of the soldiers, he got in contact with me, he felt the energy of our device, and he was so happy. Uh, he said he can't go with the dog outside for PP. Yeah, because he is so exhausted, he just uh, stays at home and just to the toilet, that's the maximum distance he can cover. Yeah, and he bought a device. He said he might live only another two, three, four days because his energy is down almost at zero. He will die, but he bought the device for his family. But four weeks later, he gave me a call and said, Harald, new situation. I just finished a renovation of my whole flat because I didn't know where to put all my energy, <laughs> too much now. And all his colleagues were after a few weeks all dead. And the goodness were, the hospital didn't find any more radioactive particles in his body. Normally he had to go each one or two weeks to the medical clinic for investigation like his colleagues. Yeah, they died one after each other. And the goodness were said, at his body they don't find anything anymore. Yeah, all the other guys were dead after a short time, and he is still alive. Yeah, a few months ago, I made a new interview. Yeah, the first uh, situation where he bought our device was maybe four or five years ago. Yeah, so a huge uh, um, time span and so on. So, and with my son, we were doing this job. Yeah, and uh, in the beginning, when we started this job, the authorities tried to interfere. They took away my right as a parent. Yeah, they didn't even make a court case. They just ignored. They took the rights away and, and created just a ready condition. So, and we went to the highest court in Saxonia, yeah, to the Bundesgerichtshof in Leipzig, and um, even there it was a mess. We we saw they don't accept any of their own rules. They make what they want. Yeah, and therefore, in the end, they put my son into such a psychiatric clinic and tried to. Um, ask him to join the dark forces, the dark sides, the secret societies or secret service at least, yeah, that he can work for them, that he gets a nice family house, a nice money without limitation for certain years, and so on and so on. His driving license was 14 years. Yeah, he was 14 years old. So he got in contact with the spiritual world yeah, because he had a very high connection to the higher dimension. Yeah, when he was eight years, he tried to kill jumping from a bridge. 
uh, because he was here to heal different persons, other ma human beings. However, he was working with the right part of the brain, and that is the connection to the higher hemisphere. But the school, at school, they asked him to use the left part of the brain, logic and, and all these uh, things, and therefore it was a problem for him. And we as the parents, we took him to all therapists in order to create a balance between the left and right part, and he was fed up. Yeah, he said, oh, I'm here in the wrong body because they have to treat me now, yeah, but actually I'm here to treat other people and to help other people. Therefore, I'm in the wrong body, therefore I have to goodbye, say goodbye to the earth, and he jumped from a bridge when he was eight years. What happened? He didn't arrive downstairs after he jumped. He was totally shocked. What's going on? And the voice spoke to him because he was standing up again on the bridge, on the top. And he was surprised what's going on. And the voice told him, you didn't kill yourself, you didn't try to kill yourself just due to ego issues or you had trouble with your teacher or your parents or your brother. You just tried to kill because you saw you could not fulfill your task for your life why you came here to earth as a soul and your idea was you are wrong here. But it was a misunderstanding of your side. And because of this misunderstanding, we could interfere. We could, could put you back onto the bridge. Yeah, and this is being, yeah, he got in conversation, he asked him who you are. Answer, I am the one who is responsible for all the souls on earth. He got in contact with him. Yeah, this being told him um, when he has a few hours time, he can call him. Yeah, and he arranged the meeting. Actually, he called him. He was eight years, my son. He called him and he materialized as a subtle being, transparent being, in his room at home. Yeah, he had his own room in, his home, in our home yeah, and he materialized. And there he spoke to him, he could see him. Yeah, and this uh, being took the soul of my son and to explain to him the whole universe. What's going on, what's his task of your life and so on. And his task was to um, repair the energy field of the earth. Yeah, that was his task. Uh, why he is here. And he said, he was surprised, why uh, uh, do you choose me? I'm eight years. How do you think I can handle this? Or what shall I do? Answer, um, many, many uh, ascended masters came down here on earth with the same task as you have been given now. Yeah? But all before you missed the chance. They, whatever, got killed or had their ego and, and tried just to earn money and Yeah, and, uh, and my son didn't speak to us uh, at that time, yeah, to the parents. Uh, he was uh, really yeah, involved in, in this other dimension and he um, hid this. But uh, some years later on, I figured this out when I understood the subtle energies more and more and more. And then we discussed those things. Yeah. And therefore, uh, when we developed our devices, yeah, my son actually remembered also his task. Uh, and he told me, Daddy, actually it was your task to uh, produce such devices, energy devices with free energy, with the energy like nature, not like technical, with battery and all these human things, uh, but with the uh, capabilities like uh, a God would do, uh, like uh, just natural energy and uh, not any artificial things. So, and he told me, Daddy, that was actually your task of life. And his task of life, my son's task of life, was to harmonize the energy field for the whole world. Yeah. So, and after they put him into this uh, clinic there and, and ignored everything, yeah, he fled there and we disappeared from Germany. We fled there five years to nowhere without money, without passport, without anything. We just went to the underground. Five years. Yeah, we were just away, no contact to anybody, or the family, no to friends, to nothing. But internet, no telephone. Harold, can I just uh, chime in? Yeah. Because okay. I think, uh, having discussed what we've just done, yeah. um, there's some correlation that our members here will understand that's come from our show with you mentions uh, about light earlier on yeah. and this is what we've discussed in the show there's several points that you made and I'm going to remind our members light has 
no limitation. It always penetrates. You may not see it because of our, our Harold spoke about the spectrum. But, you know, if you had a 12 inch ruler, we only have, well, most of us only have the eyesight of one inch. And so there's a lot on either side that we cannot see. Uh, it's a bit like what you're explaining uh, the next octave of colours, which is Octorum, which they've been trying to tamper with, as you know, we did a, a recent piece. Um, Harold was explaining about the water. Well, isn't water liquid crystal in and of itself? Both, uh, both can be programmed, and we'll get into that later. And so there's a correlation between water and the crystal. Now, Harold mentioned the, uh, the toroidal field. Well, this is, again, what we were talking about um, when I put forward uh, probably about two years ago now, and I've mentioned it since, about the earth grid underneath is a toroidal field. And this is why we end up with everything at the equator, all the heat, when all the light force energy that used to pour out of the poles, both of them, and then disperse in a correct manner is suddenly being corrupted by the taking over of the energy lines and the grids, some of which was connected to the pyramids of Giza, as I found out. Now that was, or elements of that work was corrected in September of last year. So Harold may um, be able to correlate something towards that as well. But, you know, now. He also mentioned about uh, the seven light frequencies. Well, this is again something that we've been talking about, the seven, sometimes it's seven plus one and the 12 plus one, and it's the hidden one that is always uh, corrupted, you know. Um, but the seven um, light frequencies are a match to the seven planes of your soul development. And the seven chakras also play a role in that, and that is also toroidal. It's not a straight line up like the serpent, and Kundalini is not good. I think I've got a piece, I don't know whether I put it in the last show, or I've got a piece about that in tomorrow's show. We've t spoken heavily about the Indian practices, and we have a bit more evidence on that coming forward tomorrow. Um, now, Harold touched on about the two waves. One deletes the other. This is uh, something that THI Arizona members will remember because I did the full drawing for them when I was there uh, a few months ago, or three months ago now. Um, and it's similar to uh, the hologram, which is why some people think this is a hologram. Because if you overlay the frequency in a certain way, in, in the opposite way, it will delete or overlay or repeat the frequency. And so it counteracts what is organic. So that's what Harold is explaining there, is you have an organic frequency, and what the dark forces were doing, they were replicating it, but in the opposite way, which then deleted the wave and made it more inorganic. And I agree with Harold, we don't need machines with wires and all this stuff. Um, the other thing, uh, where was it? Uh, the balancing of the left and right hemispheres. This is what we've talked about in the show, creating the sword. It's there, 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 and there. Not the Catholic upside down. Once you balance that, that then kicks in, and providing the heart is open, it will create the sword. Now the sword can defend, but it can also cut. And that's what Harold is ex explaining about uh, with his young son, where it was all on one side. Well, if you have one side, the other side counteracts it with logic, which is not truth. Logic is based on assumption. We've covered this in the show. Logic and reason are based on the assumption. If someone comes in here now and they're all wet, I would presume with logic, that that person has, has its rain in outside, but it's not the truth, is it? And so that's what happens where you have 
the, the right side of the thing is going, I'd love to go to Cedar Park, uh, Cedar Point, and ride the roller coasters. And the other side goes, you're too old. Oh, I've got a back injury, I've got this. And it's counteracting all the time. So in essence, your brain is arguing with you. But you have to make sure you know which one is the positive one that's going to go forward for soul development and then counteract and shut down the other side and merge it as one. That's what Harold is, uh, is stating there. So, mm -hmm. carry on, Harold. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. we have to understand um, that levitated water, water from an artesic well, um, the more precise the frequencies are there, uh, the higher we reach, the higher octaves. So, and when you have a water that reaches more and more higher octaves, you get more and more subtle energies, you feed more and more your subtle bodies, and you get more and more um, uh, capabilities to look into the invisible world, to become more uh, consciousness, to, to more understanding, to know in advance what is true, what is wrong, yeah? or to know, oh, in five minutes someone will call me, and so on. Yeah? You, you have more of those capabilities. Yeah? And human mankind earlier was working on the up to the 512 octaves. Yeah? That means everything on earth here was not by whatever any god invisible and, and with a whatever fluidum or, or something curious. These gods were human beings with the highest spiritual development up to the 512 octaves, and they could create things, they could materialize things, they could teleport themselves, they didn't need any language, they could communicate by thoughts, and so on. Yeah, and this was uh, the highest uh, in the universe. And the dark forces were much, much lower in their octaves. They reached the level of uh, um, 78 octave or, or 80th octave. Yeah, and in order to win the fight against the highly spiritual human beings, they had to change the energy fields. And this happened in our galaxy, and especially also here on Earth. Therefore, they built 42,000 pyramids on Earth. Yeah, the Earth had the energy field of the Dodecaeda, that is a ball with a, uh, with a surfaces of uh, uh, um, uh, um, um, areas with five edges. Yeah, the whole ball with the five edge, also dodecaeda, actually. Yeah, and this dodecaeda structure gave the human beings a very high spiritual axis, and the other structure was a hexagonal structure in the water. Yeah, the one thing, the dodecaeda structure created the perfect material body, and the hexagonal structure delivered electrons in the water. Now you have Professor Jared Pollack. Yeah, uh, and you find his book in America, The Fourth Face of Water, in Germany, uh, Wasser, viel mehr als H2O. Yeah, and in this book, he describes the hexagonal structure produces electrons. Yeah, the doctor doesn't explain us where does the electron come from, where is the electricity coming from in the body. We don't put our fingers into the electrical plug to charge our human battery. No, nothing at all. But we consist of water. Where does the water come from? The water is being materialized by the chakras. The chakras suck subtle energy and materialize water. Therefore, we consist of water. And when the body structures this water hexagonal due to the energy field of the earth, the earth has a hexagonal energy field. Therefore, you see the ice crystals at the window, always hexagonal, and not as a triangle or octaeda or whatever. Always hexagonal structure because the energy field of the earth is hexagonal. This structures also our body water hexagonal, and therefore we get electricity. Yeah? And when our chakras are working, we get the levitation. And the blood circle is running upwards. The water in the blood is a plasma water consisting of electrons, and this electricity is being taken from the heart, from the um, sinus knoten, 
Ja, and this sinus knot is a hot spot at the heart, higher than 100 degrees, higher than the boiling point of water, yeah, Celsius. So, and therefore it's taken, being taken the electricity out of our plasma water. Yeah, but when you have levitation and the chakras are working, you get all this levitation and the heart is therefore not a pump. The heart is actually, uh, uh, um, is a, has two chambers. Why, why is one chamber this direction then and the other chamber in the other direction? Because is there the center of the toroidal point and the turnaround of the spin of the uh, uh, toroidal field? Yeah, therefore, the heart chakra is the most important point in, in our body, the yeah, most powerful point. So, and, and therefore, the whole human medicine is quite simple. As long as we can produce enough water and enough electricity, we will never die. Human cells are, uh, don't die. They only die when they have not enough uh, food and when the waste is not properly removed. Only in this condition, human cells will die. So, and then we create these perfect conditions when we live of light energy and, and uh, healthy things, natural things, we can reach an extraordinary high life. The Qatars were living 1,500 to 1,700 years. Yeah? And the dark side destroyed everything. Therefore, our food is poisoned, our water, our atmosphere, our nature, everything is poisoned. So, and my son actually got the task to repair the energy of here to the earth because 15 years ago, when he tested the uh, amount of energy that is available on earth, the result was it is at 38% available. 38% is available in order to provide perfect guidance for all human beings on earth. So and that was a mess because the human beings are guided by the higher dimensions. But when the energy here on Earth is lacking yeah, down and more and more down, the guidance from the higher dimension doesn't work anymore. And therefore, the dark forces could play their role. And human beings don't recognize it and, and don't get the proper hints and are run around in circus and, and, and uh, getting more stupid and stupid as we see around us. So, and therefore, the task for my son was to create, uh, to repair the energy field of the earth. So, and actually our devices were working with a separate energy field uh, from the earth, creating their own toroidal fields, yeah? creating actually energy where you could repair nature, that you could delete radioactivity or any harmful negative energies. Yeah, and I was doing this work 10 years with my son, yeah, and the dark forces, they tried all this to destroy it, to hinder it, therefore they took away my right as a parent, therefore we disappeared, but we never got the project destroyed. Yeah, we always went ahead, straight ahead. And I distributed all over Europe maybe 1,200 uh, such devices. Yeah, we met really amazing, good people, and I learned and learned and learned. I gave each week many presentations. I got 100,000 questions, and I always had to think for the answers and to go deeper and deeper and into the whole understanding. But for me, the whole thing because became more simple and simple. The whole health became more simple. Yeah, as long as we create enough water and electricity, we are healthy. We never die. Yeah, because what is the point of dying? One second before you are dead and one second after, what is the difference? Just the electricity is gone. EKG, EEG, uh, electricity is gone. The doctor measures, is there any electricity in the body? Is the brain still with electricity there or not? Yeah, and therefore you are dying. You die of a lack of electricity. And when electricity is being created by water, you have to maintain your water production. And the water production is being done by the chakras. But how do you get the chakra working? The same thing, you get it working like a healing well. How does a healing well levitate? Only when it has had enough time and frequencies from the minerals in order to get the complete spectrum of seven light colors, seven rainbow colors. That is the condition. Yeah? And in order to prevent this, the dark side, um, removes all the minerals from our food, from the sugar, from the salt, yeah, from the fertilizers in the agriculture, they are binding the minerals 
and so on. And therefore, we are lacking, have a tremendous lack of minerals going down and down and down. Therefore, the older you are, the less water you can produce. What, how do you see it? You see it with the wrinkles in your face. It's just the lack of water. It's not any artificial cream or whatever, uh, fatty acid creams or whatever. No, it's a lack of water. When you produce enough water, you have always a face like you are looking like 10 or 20 years. No wrinkles at all. Yeah? So that is the simple understanding. So when I did this 10 years with my son, the dark side tried to destroy it, even with a heart uh, device. Yeah? We got the attack. My son knew it one week before. Yeah, we placed five big devices uh, on an island, and then it was an energy field of 40 kilometer. They tried to destroy, and they didn't have a chance. Yeah, what was the result? Therefore, the dark side said, okay, we have to arrange that the father and son will be separated. Yeah, and this was a mess with the secret uh, services and, and all this kind of attempts and bad people, and they used the ego of my son yeah, because he was proud, he had the abilities, playing like a god, yeah, because he could uh, put into our devices a soul, yeah, a free energy machine, you know, when it's uh, physical with a magnet motor, yeah, uh, magnets are pushing the speed more and more and more high, yeah, and then you can't control it, it will explode, because uh, the velocity is getting higher and higher and higher. But when you combine such a machinery with a soul, the soul can arrange that the plus the energy increases plus will be radiated as an energy field in the environment and you have a permanent steady energy field. This is being done by a soul. Therefore, our body has a soul. Our soul controls the chakras. Yeah? Therefore, we need it. So, and my son was able to combine uh, the soul to such a machinery. Actually, playing things what uh, you would call, call it God or something. Yeah, but it's a human being with a higher spiritual development can do the same thing. So, however, in the end, the dark forces uh, arranged their aim by um, dividing me and my son. My son didn't uh, um, give me any more of the machines. Yeah, I was responsible for the whole marketing, for the presentations, for selling the devices. He was producing them. Yeah, but in the end, the corporation collapsed, yeah, and my son, yeah, the behavior was really terrible. So, therefore, I stopped everything. I didn't do anything anymore with the devices. Yeah. However, all of my customers came back to me and telling, Harald, your devices we bought from you are not working anymore properly. Why? Because the dark forces got uh, my son into their hands. Yeah, and therefore, the, the system was interfered and so on, and the people were complaining. Uh, I was able then, step by step, to repair certain devices to make them positive again, but it was more and more, and too many of those devices that you couldn't fix them all step by step as single devices, yeah, because we didn't know which one were working properly, which one not, and so on. So, but later on, when I, I, I uh, now after this period with my son, this 10 year, um, I did my own thing. I, I continued my research on health and so on, and also on uh, the history, on the fake history, what is going on on Earth, now, why we are uh, being lied uh, in, in respect of physics. At the university, you never learn anything about levitation, about toroidal fields, about uh, um, chakras, or they ignore everything. Everything that is a connection to the subtle energy level is being ignored. They try to keep you down here on the third dimension, yeah, and in a hopeless situation, you have to obey, otherwise something bad happens. Yeah, but the human beings, when they know the capabilities of the higher dimensions and that they are, they are, they are, we are part with our soul of God, we have all abilities that God has in ourselves, we have just to remember this and to, to ignite it and, and to develop it, yeah? then we are a danger for the dark forces because we have much, much higher capabilities. And therefore, they try to distract us, to uh, um, maintain us or, or, or um, entertain us with the TV and, and all this 
uh, uh, crazy things to keep the people low and, and uh, to keep them away from their highly spiritual development and understanding of the real world. But I was curious, I went deeper and deeper and deeper, and I never believed anything they told me. I was always looking for the for the things where their their theory didn't fit, fit really together. I was looking for the weak points and digging there deeper and deeper and deeper at half a thousand uh, places, and therefore I became a completely different picture. What's going on uh, with the medicine, with the history, and and all the things around on many many fields. So and then yeah, two years ago I found a guy in the internet. His name was Tommy Williams, and he actually <laughs> told the same thing <laughs> that I had found out. And I said, wow, that's interesting. Uh, he has uh, he confirms everything. Yeah, I, I knew I was on the right track because I had so many confirmations for myself already. Yeah, and then uh, actually uh, your uh, confirmation from your side to me. So, but also um, then the next step was the extraterrestrials. Now, I have a woman, a friend, she was living earlier inside the Earth, and she can uh, pull back into a quiet place and to become 20 years younger, uh, looking 20 years younger. Now, she was living many decades on Earth, now, and, and she is singing with uh, extraterrestrial voice uh, songs. And she gave a concert and so on, uh, and, and I was surprised. Yeah, I met her. That was also guided. Yeah, I met her with my son, and she warned us, uh, telling uh, to me and my son, uh, "Be careful that you don't get divided." Yeah, she she uh, was already suspicious that something is going on, and she tried to help us. Yeah, but in the end, it didn't help so much because my son went his own way, but also he was influenced by my ex-wife and and his present wife and so on, and all these bad influences from outside. So and. Uh, when I started to, um, uh, or when I understood the, the cosmic war, um, um, and, and you are a guest in the in the um, uh, um, show also, you had the extraterrestrials here. I asked yeah. also my friend here, have a look, and, and she said, of course, yeah, it's true, and so on. And I had another guy, uh, I showed him also the YouTube video, and he said, yes, we know this language, that's a very old extraterrestrial language, but it's not very often spoken anymore in the universe. It's a very, <laughs> so, and I got this confirmation, you see, and I got more and more and more of those confirmations. And then I found this Polish guy with a video, the Cosmic War on the 29th of August last year. And uh, I saw, to, I said to myself, wow, here we have all the details. And, and he had the connection to the higher dimension. Also, I knew it from the old books, uh, the, the historic uh, wars uh, and the uh, Vaimanas from in India and so on, and also in Nuremberg there was a uh, war uh, in 1561. Yeah, it was a war. This guy he has this uh, leaflet in, in Switzerland in the museum. You can see it. they reported it. Yeah, and I had so many confirmations and hints that I said to myself, "Wow, that is such a such a tremendous new information." People have to understand and have to get this knowledge, and, and I started to make it public. I went everywhere, to everywhere in Germany, in Hungary, in Italy, and I everywhere told, here I have this information, and people were asking me, who is telling you this? And I said, yeah, one of the main sources from me, Williams, you can have a look there, yeah, because I didn't have any videos that time, so, but I knew it was true. So at that time, then another guy in Germany, uh, Alternative Media, uh, com uh, contacted me. Uh, that was here, uh, Joe Conrad. Uh, first, I gave two interviews by Oki Talk in Austria, uh, and then Joe Conrad uh, got uh, the information and he invited me. And step by step by step, I did more and more and more. And then I made the YouTube channel and so on. It started, I think, last November. Beginning of December, I had uh, 1,000 abonnements, and then in April, 27,000 or something like this. And I put up these videos, the information, and I explained people many, many things. Yeah, but um, during the last three and a half year, I had so much time spent in investigating all the background, what's really going on, uh, that I got a complete overview. But on the other hand, I had the trouble 
with our devices, yeah, because people saw me responsible. I sold the devices, went there, explained, and then they were disappointed. So, but when I started to explain something about the cosmic war, I got a contact, uh, a person in Berlin, he called me, all right, I can tell you, uh, I know someone who is really directly involved and can tell you everything you'd like to know about the cosmic war. And I said, oh, wow, that's interesting. I will be tomorrow morning in Berlin. Yeah, and I traveled to 500 kilometers to see him. So, and then we got in contact with such a person who is directly involved, who is working upstairs, who can reach the higher dimensions and so on. So, and then I saw his capabilities were 100 times more advanced than the capabilities of my younger son. And he said, all right, don't worry about your network that you built up with your son. We can repair everything. Just do this and this and this, and everything will be fine in 24 hours. I did this, and the whole network was totally repaired. How? From the higher dimension. They repaired our network with our devices, and the devices were actually interconnected because each one had a soul, yeah, and therefore we had such a huge energy field already. Yeah, we could delete radioactivity, yeah, we could handle microwaves and, and this kind of things. Yeah, and for me, it was a competition how fast I am selling devices compared to the speed how many mobile phone towers they put up. Yeah, it was a a war of energies, actually, dark energies and positive energies. And I always try to stay ahead. I spent each penny to marketing whatever I didn't uh, use for myself, anything, maybe some new clothes, something to eat, uh, and a little bit for gasoline. That's it. Yeah, but I spent everything. Yeah, my, my son became in two years a millionaire, yeah, and I was without any money because I spent everything for the project. So, and uh, in the end, uh, my son actually tried to work himself alone. Yeah? He doesn't need his daddy. Uh, he is the one who can build and see the energies and so on, this ego thing and so on. Therefore, I did my own thing. Yeah? And with this other guy, I was able to repair the whole network of my, my own work, actually, that uh, my son was supporting. Yeah? So, this was in autumn last year. And a few weeks later, uh, I got the information, Harald, Let's build the right devices now, and not just the device that can cover 150 meters, like your son. Yeah, let's de build devices that can cover 100 kilometers or more. Yeah, so in this way, I got the task. Yeah, what I have to do? I need just two vessels of water so that we can create a toroidal field and a crystal. And the crystal is a connection for the soul. Yeah, but the toroidal field will be built up with water. And the more the water is separate from each other, the two vessels, and the more water is inside, the higher can be the energy field created. However, in order to start the toroidal field, you have to um, bring this water into plasma condition. Yeah, and plasma we know only from the university, so many million degrees centigrade. Yeah. plasma with 70, uh, 37 degrees centigrade, yeah, a little bit more than room temperature. Plasma is just the hexagonal structure of water. That's it. And when you are able to create this and to maintain it and to start on a toroidal field, this will get in resonance to the toroidal field of the Earth, to the toroidal field of the solar system, and to the toroidal field of the galaxy. So, and when you are in resonance with the toroidal field of the galaxy, you are so powerful, yeah, you have this galar waves under control, that it cannot be interfered with any earthly, three-dimensional, technical energies. And this gives the devices this huge power. Yeah, and this cosmic tower, yeah, this new devices we call the cosmic towers, yeah, and they are extremely powerful. They uh, creating this toroidal field, this chakra actually, it's an artificial chakra, you can take with your hand, put it, place it there and there and there. You can take it with you. A chakra for transport. Yeah? On Earth, the Earth has chakras, yeah? but they are fixed to the place on the Earth. But this chakras, we are created, this toroidal field, you can take with you. Yeah, because they are connected to the device, to the water inside, like a human body. You take also your chakras 
visual is connected to the body, but our human body is also working with water. Only with water you can create this highest energetic fields. Yeah, and we are doing this yeah. with, the, with the devices. So, and we are using also healing water, not just any tap water. Yeah, and the healing water I was again investigating what we would need. Yeah, and I found uh, a healing water that um, you see when you have the, the first human cell, it's the very first cell, you have no organs in the cell. However, you have three places, and out of these three places, mesoderm, endoderm, ectoderm, all the organs will be created. Yeah? Of this one piece, this and this and this organ, or the second one, the other following list of organs, and the third one, the remaining. Yeah? And I was surprised, I found the water that delivers already the frequency for two of such places. Yeah? And then I was looking for a water for this third point, for the third place, yeah, in order to cover all human organs. Yeah? And this one we found also, and this water was actually from a healing well that was healing the nerve system. And I was surprised because the nerve system is the first organic system that will be developed after the first cell is there. Yeah? You don't have an eye or a foot or something with a, a next step. No, first uh, the nerve system is being developed. Yeah? And we are using this water for the nerve system, and this is being amplified by the other one. And we have all uh, um, frequencies for all organs available. Yeah? And therefore, we can radiate into this energy field this healing frequencies for all organs. So, and this with all the overtone octaves. And therefore, we can supply the energy not only for the physical body, but also for all the subtle bodies of the human body. Yeah? And it's actually an effect as if you would take all the homeopathic remedies for all different frequencies that you, that you can ever have with all uh, potencies, yeah? with a C potency or D or, or, or higher yeah? homeopathic remedies you have in, in different uh, levels available. Yeah? And our tower actually delivers all frequencies on all levels. And therefore you can repair all places at the same time. Yeah? This is uh, the perfect condition, and this creates actually the most natural energetic field, like the sun. The sun has also frequency, full spectrum, with also overtone octaves. Yeah? But here we create the sun actually in the flat. You put the device in your flat, and you have a, a real sun there with the frequencies of light and with a powerful energy field. And the energy field depends actually on the quantity of water, and therefore we have different sizes of devices, small one, 15 centimeter, like, like here, such a pen, yeah, so high like this. Yeah, we have 25 centimeter, 35, yeah, 75, uh, 1 meter 20, 1 meter 80, and the biggest one, 2.5 meter. And with the biggest one, we can cover uh, maybe 100 I can, I can show some of them on pictures in the minute. Yeah. Adults. Yeah. Uh, a couple of points I want to make. Um, we've mentioned on the show, water is the source. Perhaps I don't listen to Harold. You will yeah. ask that a bit more. Yeah. Sure. Uh, let me let me add one one hint. Yes. Yeah. See, when you um, you see we have the um, periodic system of elements. Yeah. And we have upstairs the hydrogen. Yeah. As a uh, one of the most upstairs uh, particles, and then you have the more minerals, more downstairs. So, but what is the difference? The atomic weight is more heavy downwards, yeah, from the uh, like lead or, or, or mercury or gold or silver. It's more heavy than oxygen, the atomic weight. But yeah. we have to understand matter is just the energy field. Absolutely. It's nothing, nothing solid. It's the energy field. And how to come from this energy field to the next one? You can do it just by adding electrons. And when you put to hydrogen some electrons, yeah, or protons, or, or to magnesium, yeah, magnesium, uh, potassium, um, calcium, and uh, and uh, natrium, calcium, calcium, carbon, uh, calcium, yeah. Um, these four elements can be interchanged into each other by adding 
protons or electrons or by deducting uh, uh, protons and electrons. And this is by logical transmutation. So, and when you have enough electrons and protons available, you can create all elements of the periodic system by yourself. You just need the production machine for electrons, and these are all chakras. And the same thing is being done by the cosmic power. Yeah, it's creating an energetic field with electrons. Yeah, in yeah. your head you get um, uh, hexagonal water structures in the air. That means you get minus ions, like in the mountains or at the sea, you know, by a waterfall, also a lot of minus ions, or Boston pyramids, uh, amazing amount, 120,000 per cubic centimeter. In a normal flat, we have 50 to 100. There, we have 120,000 as a maximum. Uh, electrons, this is poor energy of life. Yeah? And we get this also in the water, the hexagon structure in the water, and also electrons, yeah. You mentioned about the plasma. Well, the sun is plasma, pure plasma, and it's not as hot as they make it out. It's cold yeah. plasma, yeah. which yeah. is why space is cold. Yeah. And the heat for the Earth does not come from the thing in the sky. More, more of an illusion. It makes no sense. Now, Harold mentioned about the nerves. Um, why, why is the nerve the first point of creation? Because that's the conduit for the energy, or the electricity is why to then fire up everything else that follows. Now, Harold was talking about um, gods. Now, we've covered this on the show. Everyone on this call and everyone on this planet has the capability of becoming, quote unquote, God. That does not make you the God. It just makes you a higher developed soul. If you complete the seven Earth, Earth being an inhabited planet is not the name of this planet if you complete the seven planes which is the seven chakras and the seven light frequencies it's all the sevens uh you will become a quote-unquote god and you can do it in one lifetime now unfortunately as harold mentioned with the sun sometimes people that word and those abilities goes to people's head and you'll lose them an awful lot quicker than you gain them and you must be responsible with it. You must keep the hidden hook, the ego, in check at all times. Because you will go astray. I've seen too many, and perhaps a particular high-profile one recently. Stagnant. Now, one of the things Harold mentioned is uh, the steady energy field. He was talking about how to create the toroidal within the chakras. What, well, what this equates to is the 45 55 again. It's about staying in balance so it doesn't sway too far and it, it keeps the spinning going. Once we go off center or out of balance, that field is becoming distorted. And so that's why it's important the 45 55 and the balance keeps everything in flow. Now, the final thing before I'm going to pull some pictures up and show you some of Harold's devices is <clears throat> Harold again was mentioning the chakras going up. This is the same as the earth chakras. It's also the same as your DNA. And it's also the same uh, cyclical motion of the solar system. The sun goes forward and everything spirals behind it. It's not in a hamster wheel orbit. Just not. And this is what they want you to do, is stay in a trapped loop system, when there should always be like a, a proper galaxy in, in its full form, should be in the shape of a figure nine, where it goes out and then goes into another time space for soul development and planetary development. Anything else you want to add before I pull up some of your pictures, Harold? Um, yeah, let me just um, uh, put together what the devices are doing. Um, the um, toroidal field of the cosmic powers is um, transforming all negative energies. All negative energies are being sucked into it, not pushed away to the side, to the neighbors, that they get the problem <laughs> and we get rid of it. 
No, no. <laughs> it's sucked into it and being with the toroidal field transformed. Now, actually, we use a negative energy in order to make a very powerful positive energy field. Yeah, this way. So, and therefore, we get rid of whatever negative energy, everything, radioactivity, 5G, smart meter. Now, smart meter, don't forget, this, uh, um, they have a harp system inside and a negative soul. They are living beings using technical energy, electricity, and killing people. Yeah, and working uh, in correspondence to the 150 megahertz devices that the big companies on Earth like Sony or, or Siemens put in all the electrical devices. They can change the human DNA yeah, and keep the humans also down with this one. Yeah, the cosmic power are transforming all the things, even curses, energetic attacks will be deleted. You get a huge positive protection energy field. The towers radiated a noise, a frequency that is a killer for the reptiles. Yeah, they can't survive it, <laughs> run away. <laughs> we had certain experiences with this kind of things. Yeah, and also all negative energy, whatever it is, yeah, all technical energies, underground water lines, any earth grids, or whatever, that you have a bad sleeping place or something where people get ill. Yeah, forget it. You don't need whatever person coming there measuring costs a lot of money putting some cork matters below the bed or something crazy things. Yeah, we put the tower there. Everything else is fine. Yeah, it transmutes, it transforms the negative energy. You have a very healthy energy field. It's radiating a positive energy with all the frequencies of light. Therefore, we get rid of blockages in the body. Now we can get rid, yeah, depends on the system of the human body, how many heavy metals you have in the body, uh, how heavy are the blockages and so on. It also can change the quality of all the products when you get from the supermarket the products in your house. As soon as you enter your flat or the energy field of the cosmic tower, everything negative will be made positive. Yeah? First, the structured water inside. Yeah, it will be deleted from all the negative information from the agriculture, what they put in, fertilizers or artificial pesticides or, or whatever. Yeah, this will be deleted and even the physical matter can be turned around because we create scalar waves and scalar waves are the basis for matter, for solid matter. And when you have a strong positive scalar wave, yeah, you are able to delete radioactivity, the electron spin in the matter. Yeah, and the same thing can be done with all the food you bring into your flat. Yeah, this one we changed. Then we change the water. In your tap water, you just open the tap water. The water reaches the energy field of the cosmic tower. Cosmic tower deletes all the cluster structure, breaks it down. The water becomes very, very soft, yeah, very liquid actually and becomes a, gets a hexagonal structure. Therefore, you get a lot of electrons into the water, a lot of life energy. The electrons are our life energy, and also um, the frequencies of light. Yeah? It's also in the water. You drink actually energy with the water, with the tap water. You don't need a filter or whatever, because the filter is also bad. It's collecting maybe half year until you change the filter it's collecting all the bad particles out of the water. However, the filter gets more closed and closed and closed until you replace it. So, and as long as the filter has collected half year all the bad particles out of the water and you use it still, the new water runs through and takes the information of the collection from the half year. It's a summary of all the last half year's bad energies you, you rewrite the water with a summary of this bad collection. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, therefore, I don't work with any filter. You don't need it because physical matter is also energy. You have to understand it. Yeah, it's a huge uh, um, um, distraction for human beings. Yeah, the water industry are telling, oh, you need to have this low quantities of this 30 parameters, and then you have this, okay, then the water is fine. But what about the other 200,000 particles that can be also poisonous? They are ignored, yeah, because the physical matter 
is unimportant. The most important thing in water is the structure of water. Yeah, this is 100,000 times more important because you have 100,000 times more water cluster structures from all the bad elements in the water. Yeah? So this one, we get healthy water, healthy food, healthy air, yeah, because also the water molecules in the air become hexagonal, and therefore you breathe electrons and all the dust in the air, yeah, dust, particles, uh, viruses, or whatever is uh, moving around has a very light weight, yeah, and due to its positive charge, they push aside each other and keep themselves in the air. When you add the electrons, the positive charge is neutralized. These particles, even when they are very light, yeah, with low weight, they sink down to the bottom and you have healthy air and you breathe electrons. Yeah, that means you get a totally healthy energy field. Yeah, and the body gets more electrons. When the body has more electrons, uh, it can uh, replace the vitamins. And the vitamins are there in order to um, get rid of the heavy metals, for instance, uh, uh, amino acids, uh, glucosamine from the liver. Yeah, and you support actually uh, the immune system. And also you recharge the cell membrane uh, uh, potential. Yeah, our human cells, the electricity of a human cell, healthy cell, is minus 70 millivolt. Yeah, when you have a chronic inflammation, you are down already at minus 50 millivolt. And then you have cancer, you are down at minus 20 millivolt. How do you get rid of cancer? You have just to add to the cancer cell from the level of minus 20 millivolt enough electrons that it gets back to the minus 70 millivolt. That's it. So what do we need? Just electrons. Cosmic power delivers electrons with the air, with the water, with the healthy food. Yeah. So this and and also the electricity. Uh, any electricity, technical electricity, is destroying hexagonal water structure because water is a dipole, has a plus or minus charge, and the structure is an organized uh, system yeah, where the water uh, molecules are connected with the hydrogen bridges. So, but when you have an alternating energy field, you cut down these uh, connections, and therefore the hexagonal structure gets destroyed, and therefore the electrons are being destroyed. Yeah? The electricity is the most deadly thing, therefore you have your energy weapons where you can kill a person without a projectile, yeah? just with the energy wave. Yeah? The, the uses here for whatever. Uh, demonstrations to kill the demonstrators uh, uh, in masses. Uh, so and radiation is the most killer. So and therefore you have to be protected against radiation. And also the radiation um, brings uh, heavy metals in the body in resonance. Yeah? Our body, our organs try to work with zero to 100 uh, hertz, for instance, frequency. Yeah? But when the, um, the tower from the telephone company works with two gigahertz, yeah, then the heavy metal on the liver or lung or wherever they are start to vibrate with two gigahertz yeah, because they get in resonance as a heavy metal. Water doesn't get in resonance when it doesn't have the structure for the resonance frequency. However, heavy metal get all the time in resonance to electricity. So, and therefore you get a lot of dead cells. And when you have dead cells, you have a lot of free radicals. And what is the problem? Free radicals suck the electrons. That means the electricity is a killer in two ways. Directly destroying the water structure and secondly to bring the heavy metals in the body in resonance that the organs getting damaged and you have dead cells and free radicals, a huge amount. So these two sources you have to get rid of. Therefore I'm a friend of getting rid of the heavy metals. I use the glutathione yeah, it's, uh, I found a company in Canada. Yeah, uh, you can also find in the United States, Immunocall, for instance, yeah, is a product. And in Canada, it's called HMS90. I found this 25 years ago and say they're healing cancer. I had a burnout and I knew the burnout is the same low energy level like cancer. So when I studied this, I got this uh, proteins from Canada and I got rid of my, uh, um, of my burnout. I studied how the detoxification process uh, works with the glutathione. And nowadays I found even a company in Germany that's better. 
Ja, äh, wenn sie das Camping in Kanada, ein bisschen better flavor, cheaper, no custom issues here in Germany, and so on and so on. Ja, in this way, I uh, raised my own health, my immune system from 15% maybe to 90% now. Ja, I got all back my energy, I can work uh, one night through or two nights even without sleeping. Ja, it's possible, you have a complete different energy level. Ja, and therefore, the cosmic power is uh, supporting, but also first, all negative things away, positive energy field, but the most important thing of cosmic power, we can discuss separately now, ahead, uh, afterwards, the cosmic power is a spiritual teacher providing you hints, delivering you people into your life, hindering the wrong ways, that you don't go the wrong way ahead, you have trouble when you go the wrong way. But when you go the right way ahead, whatever hindrances are gone, coincidences happen, you meet the right people, and so on. Yeah, And it's there for spiritual development. That is actually the main task. Yeah, But when you are busy with all of your diseases, you have really no, no free head for spiritual development. Yeah, therefore, they are creating this perfect condition yeah, that you have a quite healthy status, a, a clear mind that you can't be interfered with MK Ultra or television programs or, or, or frequencies from television or from the uh, energy box, uh, um, energy meter, smart meter, and so on. Yeah? But the main thing is our spiritual development. Yeah? And the, the soul from the seventh dimension is supporting this. However, when the higher dimensions try to help people on Earth in the third dimension, they need an earthly energy, an energy field from the third dimension. And upstairs in the higher dimension, they don't have it. What did they do? These higher beings always went to nature, begging there for Earth energy, energy of the third dimension. And the beings in nature, yeah, for plants or, or water beings or whatever, they were counter-asking, oh, we can provide you energy, but you know we are also lacking energy because the dark side is destroying nature. Yeah? Therefore, our question is, what is the advantage for us? What do we have to offer that we have a counter-balance? Yeah? And this is a fight for energy. So in the cosmic tower removes this lack of energy. You see, you give the spirit world directly an energy source independent from the tree in the forest, from whatever nature, yeah, from any beings who like to have something back in order to providing energy. You give the cosmic teacher actually a, a very highly spiritual developed soul a tool into the hand that they can work on their own with energy. Yeah, and this is the main thing, and, and therefore we can repair the nature, we can delete whatever negative things in nature or in the human body. Yeah, we can create this support. Yeah, that's yeah. a fundamental thing, and therefore the cosmic tower is actually not a machine, like you understand the machine, therefore otherwise you would call a tree also a machine, yeah, or a human body a machine. Yeah, no, 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 it's something else with a soul, but on the same level like the other nature, maybe even much, much more powerful because uh, we can create this tremendous energy fields, hundreds of kilometers, uh, and only it's possible due to the support of the higher dimension from beings who work beyond the seventh dimension. And therefore, it's protected, the whole system, and something that I experienced before with my son will not happen with these devices. Uh, and my son, he you know, destroyed actually our task two times, uh, and the third time it did not happen. Uh, I take myself care of it, that we are now successful. Uh, and due to this connection, to this uh, people, I also get the information what's going on in the higher dimension. Uh, and uh, that's something else, uh, and that has to do with the weekend in Berlin. Uh, I can maybe tell you something uh, in a few seconds. Yeah, um, you mentioned earlier about transmute. <coughs> this is um, something that's changed in the past uh, four to five years, where um, 
the need to destroy or eliminate something. Certain people have evolved enough to not eliminate and kill and to transmute. Eliminate and kill is the ham hamster wheel. You kill one of them, they want to kill one of us or more. But if you transmute like the energy, then that person who was your enemy becomes your friend. Yeah. And that's what's been going on on um, certain regions around the planet where some of the others are located, particularly in the region I'm in. And there's been a vast change because the cycle of war is the hamster wheel. You know, if we all carry on killing each other, an eye for an eye, we all go blind. So let's not do that. So the, as you're developing your own abilities, and I know um, many of you are, uh, I've spoken to a number of you who have developed certain skills on the mental planes, which are all there. They're, they're your real technology, not machines, wires and electric grids and electromagnetic fields, which is the veil, which is a track. Um, and we develop in a way where we transmute, not destroy. And so that's a good thing. Right, I'm going to bring up some pictures, providing this works okay. I'm going to share the screen and uh, Will has sent me, um, where are we? Right. I hope you can all see that. Are you able to see it? Oh, where are we? I can yes. see it. Yes. So the, these are a selection of some of the, the towers. I think that's the six foot one. Um, this is the house one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Harold can correct me. And these are the ones that go um, much further. Um, what is it? Um, perhaps the apartment block one. So Harold can uh, talk about that. But this is the gist of the um, machines two, three, and four. There's a smaller one, which Harold was talking about, the pen, uh, which roughly does uh, 80 square meters. And then you've got the house one. Um, the apartment block is the next one. The one, next one up does 700 to 1,000 meters. And the one after that is 20 to 30 kilometers, which is somewhere in the region of 15 to 20 miles ballpark. And then the bigger one, and I think he's developing an even bigger one, uh, the bigger one, um, which is eighteen thousand um, dollars, is one hundred and ten kilometers, which is about seventy five miles. Now I know Harold's had some success in Europe with the bigger towers that are starting to overlap like the flower of life pattern, and uh, maybe that explains the rise in some of the um, protests, shall we say. So here's uh, Harold and uh, some of the real bigger ones um, that they have developed. And uh, as you can see, it's probably about eight, nine foot, the bigger ones. And uh, even the other one, which I think is the 110 kilometer ones, is uh, roughly the same size as Harold. So it's good stuff. Yeah. These are the house size ones. I right. have uh, I think I've got that right. Uh, the nice dog, no spies. <laughs> right, uh, and then we have the range. These are the pen size, and I think that's the apartment, and that's the house, and then the bigger ones for certain regions. Yeah, the biggest ones you can see are much taller than myself on picture one B. This is 2.5 meter. Uh, we didn't put it yet in the list, uh, um, but this is creating energy field maybe 700 kilometer. No, 
And also, uh, let me mention the Bundeslade, Ark of Covenant, who is reading the Bible, who knows what it is. The Ark of Covenant is creating a very, very huge, powerful energy here. And uh, this Ark of Covenant is located in London, in the building of Rothschild. Yeah? And with the Ark of Covenant, they can create also toroidal field. They have a golden plate on top of it, uh, eight centimeter high. Gold can store endless, uh, no, unlimited amounts of energy. Yeah? And with this one, they can, uh, the dark side can create a toroidal field, a negative toroidal field all over Europe. And that was one of the main power for them to maintain control and yeah. to, uh, to whatever, create influences or to kill even people. It's a machine for killing and be used. I, so, I believe they have a difference, or they did, because I've not um, had any reports back of further issues, um, but the Ark of the Covenants were all moved, Harold, and they're not in, in their control anymore, as I understand it. There's seven of them in total. Yeah. Um, you know, they were using some other um, frequency device um, of the dark forces. And uh, I got a call from the, Roth, the younger Rothschild family members um, asking for help. And so um, I helped them, and I've not heard back that they're still um, hitting the younger family members. Because what's happening <coughs> is the younger family elite bloodline members are not interested in carrying on the dark forces and their elders programs and they're trying to force them into carrying on the program because they realize their life longevity is uh, not as long as they thought it was and is a lot shorter and they haven't got much left mm. and um, <coughs> the middle group uh, in age um, are a mix but they're not as um, they're not as forceful in veracity as the elder bloodline families they are complete psychopath and they will carry on until everyone's dead never mind them um, you, know, you know but the middle group and are not as forceful as the elder group and so there's a mix between a uh, swaying there of whether to, they will carry on the old M program um, but the younger ones um, by and large are not interested in carrying on particularly in the Rothschild clan and so they have a problem because their um, life longevity has now been cut short and they will pass on the same time as everybody else. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, these are the the six um, devices um, that Harold's got. Actually, uh, excuse me, Tommy. Actually, it's seven. Seven you now. See, yeah. You see picture number three. Picture number three. There is a woman. She is one point six meter high. Yeah. And where she is standing, there belongs. Tower number is CT 75, 75 centimeter. Ah, right, okay. Yes, and, and the left one, the biggest one, it's not mentioned in the list. No, the biggest one yeah. is 2.5 meter, and this is creating extraordinary, tremendous energy field. We are not yet able to, to cover the Bundeslade, the Ark of Covenant. Yeah, but the stronger the energy field gets as a total field, the more we can twist it around and make everything positive. Uh, we are in a very, very good way. Yeah. Good. Especially since Monday this week, I can explain you. Yeah. And these are uh, where some of the bigger towers have been placed. Um, uh, the circles and fields of interaction, as you can see, are crossing over which then creates a wider field. Yes. So Picture number four is Switzerland. 
we placed in Switzerland 16 towers, 1.8 meter. 16 times 110 kilometer. That's a very powerful field in Switzerland. In Germany, we have close to 30 towers now, 1.8 meter. Uh, also strong and also one of the biggest one in Berlin since today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Austria is a little bit uh, behind, but we are doing uh, also good work. But the energy field we created here this Monday, uh, it even reaches big parts of Poland. It's many, many hundreds or thousand kilometers now uh, wide. Very, very big. Yeah. So this is uh, your transport vehicle? Uh, it's not, not, not the big ones. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> that's not, not my vehicle, that's from Dafina. You can see her on picture three. She yeah. is a woman from Switzerland. She is living in Greece and she took one of the biggest towers to Greece. Uh, but we had a technical problem because our crew, they filled too much water into the water bottles inside. Uh, so there were 40 liters water inside. Uh, but it was too full. And then you have a very full water bottle and it expands due to temperature increase. Yeah. You shrink the uh, oxygen in the bottle more and more and more. Uh, but water is very, very powerful, especially structured water. And that created the pressure inside the water bottle, so six bar, destroying the water bottle. So, and therefore we uh, are going to replace this big one uh, but also we are producing many, many of those very big ones for all over Europe or also for different parts of the world because you can do with one tower very, very big things. Maybe each one for one capital, you have already done the job actually because they interconnected and they can cover all the distances in between uh, and create a, a summary energy field that uh, has an amazing, amazing power. Yes. Yeah. Right, these are um, the six, and, and there's the seven. Um, and so I can go through um, this first one is basically the pen size one. Um, it covers 80 square meters, as you, as you can see, um, which is more of a an apartment size. And the dollar amount, as most people are working in dollars, um, uh, on this call is roughly uh, at the current rate around eight hundred and thirty five to eight hundred and fifty dollars now the second one is um, is a house sized one and that comes out around eleven thirty five to eleven fifty dollars now some people will say i'm going to put perspective as I, you know I like to do that well that's a bit high. Uh, in price wise but when you um, to balance it and like I said I'm not here to market it I'm here to provide perspective and for you all to make your own choice <laughs> um, but when you consider you're buying all kinds of uh, filters which only does one faucet this is doing a whole house system as I understand it from Harold so yeah. that for that alone, if you were just to focus uh, uh, on price-wise to do with clearing all your water and structuring all your water, including your shower water or your tub water, uh, and even the toilet water, you know, um, then when you look at that as as a cost, which is now 51 euros and it comes out 11.35 to 11.50 um, dollars, then um, that alone would justify the investment and that's uh, not including all the other stuff that Harold has mentioned with the 5G and the negative frequencies and the entities uh, that pervade many people's homes and a lot of our members have you know, learned how to deal with them now and then you've got the smart meters um, which were created and made in Israel no surprise to our listeners that they came out of there. Why? Because they're connected to the dark forces. It was happening. Hebrew Anunnaki. And so, the next one up 
this is like a multi-family, like an apartment block. <coughs> um, I'm not too sure of, the, I think that's the only one I haven't got the range for. Um, but the 200 meter, 200 meter in diameter. 200 meters. Yes, that's all up to 240. We had people who put uh, some crystals, amethyst, a circle around the tower, and they uh, got the double or triple size even of the energy field, oh. just by adding some crystals around. So the um, multi-home or apartment block comes out at $1,750. The next one up, which covers 700 meters to 1,000 meters, um, is $4,233 to $250. The following one, which is 20 to 30 kilometers, which is roughly uh, 14 to 20 miles, is comes out at 8,953. And the top one, the big one, which is 110 kilometers, which should do most states um, in uh, one of them will do most states, um, comes out at $18,000 per box. So that gives you an idea of, um, I would imagine most will be interested in uh, one, two, and three, um, but maybe we can look at four, five, and six if we got more investment or more interest in, into it. Um, uh, from my perspective anyway, uh, like I said, this is not my choice. This is uh, everyone who's on this call, uh, and we can throw it out to the members um, of how we go forward with this, should you choose to go ahead. So that's the um, the gist of it. Um, unless Howard wants to uh, talk more about it, there's a, a load of Q&A, Harold. Would you want to go into that, or do you need to talk a bit more? Um. Um, no, just maybe some um, final uh, um, information. Um, I know there is no other devices available that can reach this power and this complete protection and support. Nothing at all. I was studying 20 years uh, all devices on Earth. This is my son's devices were the best one. Uh, before, but now uh, nothing reaches this level here. Uh, we have no negative energies excluded. We reach any negative energy with whatever any energy field. Yeah, and this is one thing. And also, it's not uh, actually an earthly device. I could tell I'm not the one who does the energy production. Uh, I am just the one who arranges everything, who has the background, the knowledge, the technical understanding, can explain it. Uh, I arrange the production, uh, put everything together. Uh, but I bring the right persons together to get the final product. Uh, that is my task. And um, also we have to understand we are in the final stage of the most deadliest war in the whole universe and our whole history. And in this situation, we have to understand we get help from the higher dimensions, from beings who have the access to the higher dimensions. Otherwise, we are all lost. So, and therefore, um, I know this is that particular support. Yeah, and many people try to ignore it. Okay, I wish them good luck. Yeah, it's like, like Russian roulette. You can be happy or maybe not. Yeah, but we have the support here. I know the capabilities. I know it's an energy war. And we have to have a high energy level. And the cosmic towers are able to support us in our energy development to reach the higher planes. I also know the sun is radiating a very special energy field before the end of the year. At the moment, the sun is being reprogrammed, restructured. The Pleiadians are there with huge spaceships. Since three and a half months, we have no solar flares anymore yeah, because everything is being changed. And the idea is also to radiate a huge energy wave before the end of the year in order to 
uh, uh, shift many, many people beyond the level where they could see invisible things. And this will create a huge awakening for mankind. However, it will create a lot of trouble for human beings with a low vibration. When people have a low vibration and many, many blockages, they have deadly effects. Yeah? And the cosmic tower is able to prepare them for these higher frequencies, to get rid of blockages, or even to compensate such a very powerful energy wave from the solar uh, system, uh, from the sun, that this energy wave doesn't reach them in two hours and, and then you survive or you die, but the cosmic tower can buffer this uh, uh, wave and, and um, uh, pull it into the length that the level will be reached within maybe two months or three months instead of five minutes uh, when people with low vibration have a big problem. Yeah, that means it's a very powerful cosmic supporter. This is support from the higher dimension, this is a connection to the higher dimension. Yeah, and actually, in reality, when I did the sun as a job with my son, I was asking myself, why do they hinder us? Why do they involve so many people from the dark side? Why got my wife such a guy who was 10 years living with her and in the end when I was separated with my son, this guy left and my ex-wife didn't know what his profession was. How did he earn his money? So and I was looking, why did they fight so much? And I understood it's a weapon system. I understand from the Butsegi Mountains, this book, Radu Cinema, yeah, Transylvanian Sunrise, Transylvanian Moonrise, these two books and more books, I understand um, that when you have an energy field with a very high frequency, like over there in Romania, you could throw a stone against this energy field and it dematerializes. And when a human being with a low vibration enters this energy field, will be killed. So in this point, I got the understanding why did they try to hinder me and my son so much in the beginning? They killed the energy fields. Why? Because it was a weaponary system. And when you are able to handle free energies on this level and to make it bigger and bigger and bigger and to create more higher frequencies, no dark being would survive. And even when you have an army with one million soldiers and 100,000 tanks, they have no chance against such an energy field. Yeah? And therefore, the dark side knew they have to stop it from the beginning. And therefore, we had all this trouble. And when we understood this, we said to ourselves, oh, that's interesting. Then we use our system for defending ourselves. And we did this. And therefore, we were very successful yeah, 10 years until we split you know, with my son this cooperation, but now I continue exactly at the same point, but even 100 steps more ahead and advanced. Yeah, and there you okay. can finish everything now. Right, but these are kind of a, an overview of questions. Um, um, there'll be people uh, in the chat. I know Amy wants to ask a question. I'll throw it open, but maybe some of these questions that have come in We'll uh, cover it and we'll see where we go with it. Now, uh, one of the questions is, are there any wires or batteries or maintenance connected with this device? No. <laughs> we, use, we use wood, we use, a, we use a crystal, we use glass bottles, and we use healing water. That's it. Yeah. No metal piece, no nail, no cable, no nothing. That's it. Good. Like the human body, it doesn't need any wiring or a human body. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, a couple of next things uh, are on shipping. Uh, can you ship worldwide? And are the shipping costs included in the price or is that extra? Mm -hmm. And is yeah. there a, an insurance required for the shipping? And uh, what happens if it breaks? Uh, at the moment, we are supplying in Europe um, the big devices, the big towers. We didn't ship by any uh, delivery company. 
yeah, because the water uh, uh, bottles are sensitive. Uh, um, we did one exception. We sent three towers to Mallorca, 1.8 meter, and this was successful. Nothing got damaged. Also, we changed our devices with the experience from before when certain devices got broken uh, due to too much water inside, and we did more buffering inside, more rubber pieces, dampering things, and so on. Uh, we are able to ship, uh, but at the moment, my company is a small company. Uh, we started half a year ago. I had one secretary that was it. Now I have three employees, uh, but we are growing tremendously. Uh, I try to make sure that we have all the towers available uh, within the next months, all the time. When there are coming not ten times more orders, then we can handle this. Yeah, but it's a huge challenge, and we try also to find out the delivering things, all the towers until 35 centimeter. It's not a problem at all. Everything that's getting a little bit bigger might be a problem, but we try to resolve this issue as well. And also we can uh, maybe uh, wise would be or would be wise to send an amount of big towers to a new country like America or to whatever other country. Because you have to understand the small towers have a quite small energy field. And when you have uh, 10 5G devices or 100 or 1,000 around a small tower, yeah, and those devices have also a soul or negative energy field, and they, of course, attack such a cosmic tower. Yeah, and it has no good survival chances yeah, due to the balance of energies, and therefore, um, we create here in Europe very big energy fields with the big towers, and the big towers are giving a very powerful support to all the small towers. And then the small towers will survive, they can do their job, yeah, and uh, when there's a lack of energy, the big towers can help them, can repair them, uh, um, yeah, and, and resolve any problem. Yeah, therefore, it's always good to have a combination of the big ones and then individual small ones. Yeah? So, and that's we have to consider when a small one goes lonely to one new country, yeah, we, it's a little bit tricky. Yeah? We have to understand the background and to get the support. But of course, when we have a huge energy field in the middle of Europe and, and we would deliver a small one for just for France, the distance is not so big. Yeah? Therefore, yeah. we can also Incorporate this one maybe, but America or different continents are uh, uh, far ahead outside. But uh, we are looking for good people in Germany and, and Europe anyway. We have uh, um, uh, owners of companies yeah, and they buy also big towers, yeah, not just doing the thing for themselves, also their company has an advantage. Employees don't get so much ill or have a more better concentration, higher efficiency. No burnout effects, healthy, uh, lower diseases, and so on. Uh, and when we reach this one and make it more public, we can deliver big devices, and then we can create very effectively the, the big uh, uh, energy fields, and also the small towers would survive and uh, would have a very good possibility to maintain their strong energy field. Okay. But uh, the export prices are not included. It depends always on the country. In Germany, we have eight mark. When we deliver to Austria, we have 17. Uh, you know, to America, maybe it's 100. Uh, we, we have to check. And then the costs will be always charged on the real cost. Yeah. Yeah? Nothing more. Just yeah. the real transport cost. Um, so you've mentioned the components. It's wood, crystal, water, and glass. Um, yeah, and the crystal, also yeah, real crystal, crystal yeah. Yeah, physical crystal. Um, yeah. Where are we next? Mm -hmm. What is the composition of crystal, and have they been cleansed? That's one of the questions. Yes, the crystals uh, are always being cleansed. Um, also, uh, uh, even the energy field by itself would uh, uh, clean the crystals. Even this one, they are in the center point of the energy field. And uh, we use this, in Germany you call it Berg crystal, also the crystal is a white, transparent, uh, the most common crystal, uh, this one. And we use different sizes for different devices. 
Yeah. The players even have more uh, crystal inside. Sometimes we have even three crystals with maybe three, four kilogram. Uh, we build big devices. The crystal comes in there with nine kilogram. Uh, very powerful, just the crystal. But the crystal is not building up the energy field. Uh, the energy field is being built up by the water, like in our body. Uh, we don't have any minerals or gems in our body. Yeah. We use water for the energy field. Yes. Um, how will people know whether the water is structured? Is there a test or whatever? I am assume you've got all tests on, uh, details on the website. Yeah, the water you can measure um, with a um, redox potential. Uh, the more electrons you have, the higher is the redox potential. This is one thing. The other thing is you will taste it. The water gets very thin, very tasteful. You don't like any other water anymore. Yeah, it's very delicious, really. And any negative flavors or something goes away. Yeah. And also, I recommend for critical people always um, biophotonic camera. Yeah, this is, then you can measure all the chakras, all the blockages. You can see the aura. You see the holes in the aura and so on. I was working very close with Professor Konstantin Korotkov in St. Petersburg. He is the leading scientific uh, scientist all over the world in uh, biophotonic cameras. He is exporting them worldwide, USA, wherever. Uh, and he is working in this field since, I think, 20, 30 years. Uh, he got very high-ranking uh, um, um, awards from the Russian president, from Putin, and so on. And he is uh, uh, working with the Olympic team from Russia, and so on. Uh, and he can measure. And when you um, measure a human being before and after, you see the blockages are gone immediately. Many, many of the blockages, the energy field gets stronger, the amount of life energy gets much higher. Yeah, with this kind of things you can measure. And also you can measure the toroidal field with um, measuring devices for toroidal fields. However, this is difficult to get yeah, because the dark side uh, doesn't allow this for the general public. Yeah, there are some devices available, but it's not for normal human beings, but maybe some people would have access to a certain things like this. Yes. Does the um, device give off any audible sound? No, nothing at all. No. Yeah. Uh, where are we next? The water restructure, does this include removal of fluoride and other chemicals in the water? We have to understand, any physical matter is an energy field. And the matter, physical matter, are scalar waves. So, and why is vitamin C positive and mercury negative? Because sometimes, uh, in the one case, you have a left counterclockwise scalar wave, and the positive energy has a clockwise scalar wave. So, and when you are able to change a counterclockwise wave into a clockwise wave, then the uh, um, matter is not any more dangerous. You can s still measure it with biochemistry tools. Yeah? However, when you get it into the human body, human body is measuring or detecting the energy. Is it positive or negative? So it's when, when there is no negative energy, the body says, okay, I don't need it, it doesn't harm me, I don't have to detoxify it. It just runs through, and you get it back out at the toilet, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. In, es in essence, then, it's uh, the fluoride and the other chemicals and pesticides and everything else that's in the water, uh, it, it, it's transmuting it. Yes, the physical things are still there, but not any more dangerous. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, I think uh, there was a question. Uh, you have lab tests for further proofs. I think some of that is already on your website. So, uh, you know, if you can give the details of your uh, website. Yeah, no website I don't have yet because oh, I right. was, you know, <laughs> yeah. to prepare the production. Uh, when I have the website ready, the production has to raise 100 times more. 
product. I had to make sure the production is running. Website will follow now. Uh, my son's company has a website, yeah, but uh, I have not yet. But uh, we have this uh, Telegram channel, Cosmic Tower. Yeah, and there we publish uh, uh, experiences of people, of feedback, and, and whatever new information. We also translated the videos. We have it, I think, in French now, in Italian language, and it's being translated more and more in different languages. We have short videos, for four minutes, two videos, explaining the tower in a very a good overview. Uh, and this one we publish more and more. I think also we will translate the articles. I made some press articles and so on. This kind of things we will make available step by step. Right. Is this device along the lines of a cloud buster tech of copper and crystals with no moving parts? Uh, cloud buster uh, is a separate thing for, for weather. Yeah, but the human body is a little bit more than better. You need all the frequencies of light. And this in all uh, octaves. That means not only for the physical body, but also for the chakras and so on. It's a totally different approach. Yeah, um, and also the cloud buster, I don't know if it is connected with the soul or if it is really just a technical device. Yeah, um, our um, Cosmic Tower is a spiritual teacher, yeah, uh, and so on, and Cloud Buster never ever. Uh, mm -hmm. And actually, what does it help when you have nice clouds, but people will die from 5G or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, cloud Buster doesn't cover this kind of things, and we cover all negative energies, mm -hmm. all negative influence on the human development we are uh, eliminating. So the, um, the frequencies it gives off um, is... Is it similar in a way uh, to the Rife machine without wires? No, the Rife machine uh, presents just a, a selection of uh, program frequencies and it's a technical device with the cables and so on. Yeah, and the Rife machine doesn't reach all the overtone of tabs. Yeah, but healing water does. We are working with healing water with a real nature. You come to much, much higher of tabs than uh, when you would do it with a technical device. We see it from 5G. You see 5G covers a frequency range from 30 gigahertz up to 120 gigahertz. But the human body works between 45 or 43 gigahertz to 163 gigahertz. Higher. They can't reach the highest frequencies in the human body yet with 5G. Therefore, they are developing 6G in order to cover everything and to use a human being like a zombie. Yeah, you can switch off organs with 5G or with 6G. Yeah, you can kill people directly. It's an energy weapon. Yeah, and um, the cosmic tower works with a higher frequency and with a much more powerful energy field. Uh, that's actually the difference, and it's highly intelligent. That comes yeah. on top of it. Yeah. So you, you mentioned earlier, uh, just this is just as a matter of interest, I'm going to uh, bring other members in uh, to uh, ask their questions. Yeah. Um, the well water, um, uh, the healing water. Yes. Yeah. Has this got any components of the H9O? Have you heard of H9O? I heard of H2O3, that is a hexagonal structured water, that is heavy water. Yeah. Yeah, with the heavy water, you can create atomic bombs because you have the electricity in the water. In the and the energy field, yeah. Yes, and with um, H2O3, uh, you can uh, create a pH value inside the water of 14, but not with uh, Opposite, like an acid, I don't know the English word, acid, and the opposite is... Uh, alkali. No? no? The alkali. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. but uh, it's head of acid. In Germany, you have the opposite of acid. Uh, Natronlauge, N-H-O-H... Uh, alkali. Uh, alkali. Ah, okay. ah, yeah, okay. So, and, and this uh, hexagonal structured water, you can create a pH value of 14. You see? 
Uh, and even this high pH value is not dangerous. You can put it on your skin, but it's just a high pH value due to electrons only. Yeah? And this is important. Yeah? Maybe there are other scientists developing something else, but I concentrating, I'm concentrating on the human health, and human health is yeah. electricity. It's electrons, and yeah. it's hexagonal water structure. Yeah, and the Earth creates this energy field. When you go without shoes on the Earth, yeah, then you get the electrons from the Earth. And the dark side is trying to change the Schumann frequency. The Schumann frequency is creating the hexagonal water structure. And with a harp device, you expand the ionosphere, and therefore the Schumann frequency gets changed, and therefore people are dead or have a low energy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, from what I understand, this... H nine O, as we, this planet is unique, um, as I mm. understand it, in terms of the water. Yes. Which is why I keep saying water is the source. Um, it's called living water. Yeah. And uh, um, we were given some help or assistance by some of the others, as I call them. And uh, there's um, a lake not too far from where I am, but it's fairly high up, <laughs> that has mm -hmm. this H9O. Mm -hmm. okay. and, um, I have a feeling it's the actual living water. I know there's a whole field of it um, under Florida, which is why the Rothschilds are trying to take it over. Um, and this living water would also uh, heal everything as well and we had access to it. And so that's why I brought that up. Um, Whereas the rest of the universe, uh, from what I understand, is uh, dead water. And, and that's why we had certain other species coming here, taking the water in vast volumes. Yeah. Uh, and why they were underground, because a lot of the um, more healing water is below our feet in the aquifers and lower. Yeah. So that's why I want to bring, it, uh, bring that up. Right, Amy. Okay, can you hear me, Thomas? Yes. Okay, thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Harold, and hello, everyone. This is just um, trying to understand within, Harold, your goals and our goals of healing the whole planet as fast as possible. I just wondered if you wanted to be or if there is an advantage to your being the only manufacturer of this product. Yeah. I know Roger had asked because Stephen showed the questions whether you could, and I don't know if you would use this terminology, but um, license out or enable other small manufacturers that are TPC friendly or cooperatives in each country to be able to manufacture in those countries, um, or if your goal was to do this all out of Germany for energetic reasons that I don't know, so that's one question. Another question is if you have any of these in the United States or whether we're here untrammeled territory and there's some sensible way to roll them out. In other words, are we really just wanting to sell these to the spiritual community or are we trying to pepper certain um, very important areas like Thomas just mentioned for faster, greater coverage and greater um, benef you know, uh, benefit to mankind faster? Um, so those are related questions. Are you looking to do this all yourself? Is really kind of what the business question. Uh, yeah. So are you are you open to franchises? I think is the gist. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, the job I'm doing uh, has nothing to do with business. I'm just fulfilling my task of life and trying to do it as good as possible. Uh, I gave up my house, whatever. Uh, I, I whatever left everything behind to, to make it successful and so on, and the same as now. Uh, I even don't take any money for myself out of the company, for instance. Uh, I, I have no income from it. I put all the money to make the things working. So, and the production I don't do myself. Yeah? We have a contractor who does the mechanical work. But the main important thing is the energetic work. 
Ja? So this one. So and this one um, has to be done with trustful people and not with whatever. Yeah, and I maybe guess this kind of energy field we are creating here, there are really not many people on earth able to create it. Yeah, and therefore, I don't see so many possibilities to produce it somewhere else with the same quality, with the same effects, with the same interconnection mm -hmm. to the network and so on. Yeah, it's, a, it's a huge structure we try to build up. Uh, and uh, I actually try to arrange that we have everything available here and to make it available to everybody, uh, but not uh, that I try to keep it for myself. It's just for, you see, I have to handle it also. When you have uh, 100 uh, subcontractors, uh, the day has even now 24 hours just, and maybe 20 hours of that day I'm each day working. So and I see already the, the limits, uh, and it has to be workable. But at the moment, I um, just try to to increase the capacities we having, uh, that we have uh, remove all the limits. Until now, the workshops told me, yeah, we have a delivery time of three months, and I told them that's for me unacceptable. Uh, I told them we have to have all the wood available, we have to have all the glass bottles available, all the quantities of healing water, maybe for a thousand devices available. Uh, when someone comes tomorrow and orders 500 pieces, I like to have all the material available and we are just looking for a workshop who has free capacities, we go there, here you have the material, tomorrow we will see your first test device and next week we would like to have a hundred pieces or two hundred or three hundred pieces. And this way we are working. Uh, this I'm, I'm preparing. Otherwise, you see, when people are being killed in September with 5G, uh, maybe they realize it's a deadly thing uh, and looking for solutions. And then when I come then and tell them, oh, on Christmas we could deliver you the first hours uh, because we had such a long lead time to order all the materials and to get someone who has the capacities and so on. That's doesn't work. Yeah, therefore, I prepare everything that we can really work it out and, and it has to fit all together. Now, I don't exclude it yet, but it has to be yeah. uh, a little bit yeah, that I can handle it. Yeah. And at the moment, uh, I have to uh, make it prepared in a way that we can handle Europe. Yeah, and we are in a very, very good way. I, uh, let me explain you a little bit more than on the event in Berlin. Yeah, when we have answered the question, it's very, very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So I, could I just say one more thing? Okay. Yeah. One more thing quickly. So I'm asking you as a manufacturer, I'm a boutique manufacturer, and I really do understand um, the decision-making there. So really what it gets to is what are the goals of TPC in, um, in investing in this? And I would just submit to the group that it might be very smart um, depending on what the plan is to roll them out. It might be very smart to get all the crystals and the very important components from you and yeah. get the wood and get, um, you know, something going over here. And I think Roger asked the same question. So that's well, uh, all. Yeah, I can just chime in on that. Um, that is sadly, and this is what we're trying to do with THI, yeah. you've all heard me say about raising your frequency and vibration and getting you all out of the astral trap and onto the mental planes when your natural technology kicks in. Sadly, there are very few people who carry the higher frequency energy and so I will support that all on that. I wish it was more but there just isn't. You're talking of a handful of people mm. globally. And, and this is part of the, part of the problem where where the odds are stacked against us. But look at the progress we've made in the past eight years. It's extraordinary on any level. And I know uh, people always say, "Oh, you know, it's taken too long." The mass arrests and all the other nonsense that has little to no relevance in real terms. You know, you can arrest the whole of Congress tomorrow. There's a whole files that's been sent out again uh, on all of them, including the top guy. 
Uh, but what, what does that change for you? Nothing. It doesn't alter your life, because they're just bringing 500 other idiots to do the same job that they're not capable of. You've all seen it now, right around the world. The governments look ridiculous. Is that their fault? No, because it's run by a higher system, the hidden hand, which we revealed in the shows. And this is, uh, like uh, Harold said, this is a cosmic war. This is a frequency war. And this is an energy war. And we are winning heavily where it matters. Heavily. And the idea is to have not one Neo, but a couple of Neos. It's to have millions of Neos. And so, whilst it would be a lot easier uh, from a business point of view, there's just not the people here uh, to produce the the correct energy field that will be required for that system. Next question. Jason. Hi everybody. Hi Tommy. Hi Harold. Um, Harold, that was fascinating to listen to your story and um, I just want to say thank you for what you've done and your perseverance and uh, commitment and dedication to keep <clears throat> going on through all those difficult times you've had so I just want to say a big thank you for that um, I just want to know I have three, three possibly four questions are any of these towers in Ireland yet I'm guessing no uh, are any of are any of these towers present in Ireland in Ireland no not yet no okay um, I think Tommy just asked I think you and Tommy have just answered my next question. Uh, was can we build these towers ourselves, or does it require technical specialty? And I think it does. It's a, it's a, you have to be higher, higher developed, right? You have to be able to charge this water to a certain yeah. frequency. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you recommend um, any useful links about this subject, about everything you spoke about tonight? Can you recommend a website or a book or some other material where we could go and look at this ourselves in our own time uh, can I just chime in uh, Harold said they, they haven't got a website I know what, if we decide and uh, judging by the uh, comments in the chat people are interested and want to go forward with this perhaps we need to look at someone who has website skills um, that can help Harold out in some way uh, and you know, Harold has to focus on more the technical side, um, and maybe that's where we can come in, uh, where if we have someone who has website skills that can build his website and work with Harold, and then take that pressure off them. So we would be looking for um, someone with website skills. Would that be helpful, Harold? Tommy? Um, um, I have a guy who... Uh, um, is already uh, or has already started with the website, oh, but he, he needs my support with delivering information, pictures, texts, and at the moment I'm yeah. delivering devices. You see, yeah. it's a war, yeah. and, and it's so yeah. happy at the moment. Last days I provided 24 big towers, 1.4 meter, uh, 1.8 meter. Uh, we had to get the healing water and so on from the well with many cubic meter. Yeah, and there are so many things to arrange now with the companies, with the production, and this one is uh, my focus at the moment. As soon as this is ready and, 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 and yeah, uh, prepared, then the next step, and then the website will be done. It will be available also in different languages. Yeah, step by step, we are doing this. But what might, might make sense is when there is even someone in America who could collect the orders, for instance, then we yes. can the big towers maybe on a pallet and then no one can throw it around and damage it yeah? because then you load it as a big parcel onto a container or onto a ship and it always uh, gets safe to wherever place on earth. Yeah? Something like this for instance. This one we could manage uh, that someone would distribute it and in the States instead we send everything 
that's something that we have yeah. discussed with the TBC Herald is yeah. creating yeah. a central okay. uh, distribution with also a website uh, should yeah. you go ahead Willie may I just uh, add the information that um, Harold mentioned the telegram channel that's you um, the most information you can get now, um, besides the YouTube videos, but they are in German, uh, on his Telegram channel, Cosmic Tower, you, they have some foreign language versions of the video. But still, um, he needs a lot of um, help. And Harold is not mentioning it, but, I, uh, you know, he's in the production process and under pressure. And um, having a website would not help because uh, he's afraid to frustrate a lot of people because he cannot deliver as quick as they would demand it. So to concentrate on uh, the, the collecting of, of demands and to, to deliver as much as possible to over the seas to Ireland, we could even go by car. <laughs> That's not so far from, from Germany, but um, for the other continents, we have to be creative, finding ways to transport, and basically the idea of any uh, is, is is nice. If it's possible, that's my idea. I just had I, I don't know what how that works. If this guy who is informing the water with the high information, if he could go to the other place where they build it. Um, to inform the water that might be helped because Harold is looking for carpenters and such things anyway. So it's just an idea. I don't know whether that's possible, but just to come forward as quick as possible. Sorry, Jason. That's okay. Uh, Simone. Okay, hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Um, first of all, schönen guten Abend. I would, uh, of course, I want to help translate. Uh, and um, if you have videos that I can work on right now that will be in German, can, I can do subtitles for you. Um, I can do that right away so that um, all the other members can uh, can um, use these videos and uh, yeah. listen to them and send them out to other people as well. Uh, yeah, that, that would be great. You um, can go uh, onto so the if, Telegram if channel. All you need to do is send, um, send me what Video, you subtitles, you know, and I uh, can I can do that uh, into English. Perhaps um, Willie will be be able to help with that. Yes, so uh, we can. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Willie, I will contact us I will put my email in the chat. Okay. Simone, schreib mir, wir haben ja Kontakt. Wir lösen hier Simone. Thank you. Simone, schreib mir auch nochmal, wir haben ja Kontakt. Wir haben Kontakt, Simone. Thank you. Uh, yeah, great. Anyway, and then the other thing I want to say Okay, sorry. Is it better now? But, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn the video off because it's always the same problem with the video. Can you hear me again? No? Yes. No, I just wanted to say for London, uh, because I'm here in London, and I think there's a reason I'm here in London. So um, I need to help with uh, whatever towers are needed here. Um, and I don't know how many it will need for the city. London. That's a good idea. Let's stay in contact. Yes. Good. Yeah. But yeah. you can talk on that and uh, I can um, get you in touch with other people. Yeah. I'm also yeah. looking for people in Rome, Italy. 
Ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Pope so much. Uh, uh, the oh, sense of yeah. energies. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank, thank you, so, you so much. Thank you. Um, well, I'm mean, just going through the chat, Michelle. TPC director Michelle. There's a few Michelles. Yeah. You wanted to ask question? No. Oh, something <laughs> this is, well, there was a question on the chat. I'm just going through the chat. Something about the infused. It was a comment, not a question. Ah, right. Okay. Anyone else got a question then? It's no. Thomas, please. Fire away. Yes, I have a question. Thank you very much. I was just going to ask Harald because we've got a bit of a situation building here in New Zealand where they now have concentration camps where they separate family members who are being forced to be tested. I would like to protect the leader, the new leader of a very new party who stands against all the communist influence that now pours into New Zealand like crazy. They put a 5G tower outside his house. I would like to uh, organize some way to help so that he is safe and that those people in the concentration camps are safe because there's a lot of tragedy happening and I'm really upset about that. I'd like to do something about it, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any comments, Harold? No, I think when you put there some cosmic towers, um, you can influence certain things you can prevent certain events or so uh, because energy is important for um, guiding the, the life on earth yes. when you have a stronger positive energy you can prevent them from fulfilling the dark plans uh, therefore the cosmic towers would help be helpful you see we did also certain things I had to go to Turkey and you were all be were also forced for the uh, testing uh, and then they went into the brain actually and so on and we put just the cosmic tower there next to the test station ask the cosmic tower to prevent any damage and to create uh, 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 excellent results with the test uh, and everything was fine uh, we didn't have any problem at all uh, you, are a gift. you are a gift Harald I thank you so very much indeed they're talking about making New Zealand a test case, and that's why I like to yeah. make sure that I can stay in touch with you and order towers so that we can actively help Billy Tekahika, who is running the New Zealand Public Party. Okay. Who is, who is only, he's, he's two months old, the party is two months old, and he's being jumped on with hot nail boots. Yes, New Zealand is... Um of course, your commander in New Zealand is Obama. All right. And he's in touch with the the Earth Stronghold SSP um, in New Zealand. Now, um, it's gone on a long while. There was discussions going back uh, a decade ago in New Zealand to do with New Zealand that they would take one of the islands, I can't remember whether it's the North or the South Island, uh, and some of the cabal were going to move there on lock and get out of the way. They knew what was South coming. Island. It's the South Island where they got 38 yeah. underground bunkers. Yeah, uh, and so discussions didn't go too well, and that's why the Christchurch event in 2000, whatever it was, took place. And so New Zealand has traditionally been an issue, and of course it's been fairly close or a lot closer to Antarctica and that, that is why so you know, we'll keep a uh, check on that also uh, I have I have something else I got layered water have you heard of layered water of diamond water by Joël Ducalion who was a musician and who layered I don't know 70 80 thousand frequencies into this particular water might that be of help to you? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I don't think so. 
Uh, because we are able to uh, create the most complete spectrum of light in the water. Okay, um, thank you. That is, that is, for me, the only quality criteria. Good. Uh, who was asking a question before 5808? Uh, anyone else? Mark D. Rempel. So, oh. I was, I guess I got, I got muted again. I'm sorry. That was me telling me. I, I had a question. I had interrupted uh, before the lady got to talking. Is it okay if I ask yes. a question now? Yes. Okay. So, I got muted again. So, that's, I apologize. So, how I, you mentioned about the redox in the water. So, in terms of the redox aspect of, of the water's structure and the nature of oxidation in redox water within the system, so how does it transmute with the characteristic of oxidation? How does that transmutation take place when redox is undergoes oxidation on one side and transmutation goes you know, on the other side, does the water need to be replaced at, at any point in time along the life of the unit? Because that's kind of the whole nature of, of redox is, you know, one part goes through transformation and the other part goes through oxidation. So if that, those two things are happening, it would, it would seem to me that at some point water needs to be replaced if it's going through the oxidation. It, 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 cannot necessarily transmute itself. Um, can, yeah. you can you clarify that? Because that's, you mentioned about redox, and okay. that caught my attention. So I'm just wanting clarification since they go through opposite things. Um, you see, when water um, has um, levitation effect, when water is building up its own toroidal field, due to levitation, due to the spectrum of frequencies, then such a water you can fill in a bottle, can keep it away for two million years and drink it as a fresh water. As long as the structure is not being destroyed with technical radiation energy. Otherwise it will be maintained forever. You don't have in any healing water any bacteria, any viruses or whatever, negative uh, other entities or beings, yeah, because it's living water and living because it's interconnected to the yeah. higher dimensional toroidal energy fields. And they are creating um, a level of um, uh, electrons all the time that you uh, don't get the bad water. And therefore, you don't need to replace it. And also in our devices, the water is anyway protected from any outside negative energy fields due to the toroidal field. And therefore, you don't have these bad influences. And therefore, it would stay forever in this perfect condition. And therefore, our devices have also not a limited time span uh, living uh, time that you would say five years or ten years and it will become less and lesser and lesser. No, not at all. It will stay all the time at the same energy level. Uh, the same with, uh, with um, yeah, because I was also curious if the energy level will go down uh, the higher the distance from the device. Yeah, but um, the answer was uh, from my crew no, it will stay all the time at the same high le level of energy, maybe just the last 5% of the distance over there, it goes down from the highest steady level to zero. Just the last 5% of the distance. It means when you have the tower 1.8 meter energy field of 110 kilometer, it will stay at least 100 kilometer the same level as at the point where you create the field, yeah, at the center of the field. 
Okay, know. then so, then I don't I don't okay then I don't follow where the redox comes into the picture then. No, and that, the re that redox feature I don't I don't quite follow where that yeah. oxidation state becomes yeah. infused or part of that whole picture that you just explained. I don't see where redox comes into that that equation, shall we say. But it, it's it's two separate fields. Yeah. You've got the positive field and the negative field. If you create the right vortex at the right speed, yeah. then all the negative is either transmuted within the field so it doesn't necessarily interact as I understand it I think we're looking at uh, like uh, more in the way of waste uh, does it collect the waste well no it doesn't because the field counteracts it and transmutes it as a field of energy right, yeah. is that right. perhaps that helps Ramona yeah. So not the negative is not exactly engaging within the field. It reaches the field and is transmuted into the electrons and and not the negative frequencies. I oh, understand. I understand that part. I understand that part. I just the, the redox part where oxidation takes place as a nature and a characteristic of redox water. It's a whole different model acts from the transmutation of ions from this to that. Redox is a whole other chemical reaction. So that's why I was not clear about where the redox fits into the transmutation part because it's, it's just two different things. So, okay. but okay, all right. I'll let it be. Um, Tommy. Yes. Yeah, uh, thanks, Harold, for your presentation. Um, from my understanding, what Harold was describing a smaller device standalone by itself. Say, if I ordered one here for BC Canada in the central interior, it would uh, weaken after a while without the support of bigger one around or more around it, or would it be able to function on its own within within my neighborhood? Yeah, um, the see, I had the experience in Luxembourg. Yeah, with the device of my son. We built a device that was and could create an energy field of 150 meter. Yeah, because the other ones were just 15 meter and this one was 10 times as big. I was happy to deliver one of those devices to Luxembourg. And the owner of the device gave me a call one week later. Harold, you have to immediately remove this device uh, it's not helping me, and, 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 and. I went there, I checked there what was the situation, and what was the reality there. They had in Luxembourg, was maybe two years ago now, they had there a very, very negative energy field because they had everywhere a smart meter, everywhere, in each house. So in our single device was attacked by 10,000 smart meters. Mm -hmm. It survives this energy field. So when you are living in an area where you have no 5G or no a lot of negative energy, yeah, even a small device would uh, get rid of all the problems. Yeah. yeah. The, the think, issue we have in this community is that everybody has seems to have a smart meter, yeah. and there's a few towers and energy, so it may come under attack. A smaller device. Yeah. So okay. Well, sense to think about the bigger one, even I tell people let's maybe collect something together. Many people can put some money when you have 100 people, everyone spends some few dollars and then we deliver the bigger devices. Yeah? Yeah. And also when, when I see that people try to uh, make a big effort to, to finance it, yeah, but it's difficult for them. Uh, I also give sometimes the tower free of charge away, like in Mallorca. Yeah, they finance two devices, and the third one they got free of charge mm -hmm. yeah, to help them, and so on. And, and the same thing we can do. You see, the production costs for the towers are lower than we are selling it. 
Yeah, but this one gives me the opportunity with this money to produce in advance new devices that we cut down the delivery time to zero. Yeah, yeah. then I don't have the money when I have to wait until I get the order and, and then it takes two, three months. It's crazy. Yeah, this one. And also when I have very highly spiritual developed people that um, might take part in the fights in the higher dimension and they are under heavy attack from whatever dark beings. Yeah, what do I do? I deliver them a big tower and then it's quiet and they can recover and, and, and take part more advanced in, in the spiritual fights there. Mm -hmm. and so on, yeah? Because the dark side tries to keep good people very down, very poor or whatever. Yeah? And therefore, we can do it only uh, together. I'm saying, and some people have a lot of money, some people do even a donation that we can do something more. Yeah, some people don't have money, but uh, yeah, I, I get a feeling what makes sense and, and yeah. helping people. And this way we could do it uh, in your place as same, yeah, and whatever is possible for me, I will do. Yeah, my yeah. interest is not earning money, my interest is to get the job done. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm in a position of being almost a loner in this whole community area in terms of THI contact. Yeah. There's a few people I run across that I've heard the concepts, but I'm one only person living on a small pension, so cost-wise it's prohibitive for me to be involved even with a small tower at this point. Mm -hmm. But I guess what I'm thinking is that it's for some of us that aren't going to be able to avail ourselves of this particular device, we're going to have to focus and work harder on our own inner development, our own toroidal fields and strengthen ourselves more and more. Even with the you know with these devices, we still have to do that that heavy work. Of course. The heavy lifting, yeah. Okay, okay. thank you. All the time you have any way to do your own job, your own development, your own uh, spiritual things to learn the lessons and so on. You are not the spirit world is not allowed to take you away all your teaching lessons. Yeah, the tower is not like genie out of the bottle fulfilling all wishes. Not at all. And when you are going the wrong way, you get uh, a hit into yeah. the back. Bang, bang, bang. You, yeah, you get heavy resistance or whatever. Yeah, um, But the tower creates a positive environment. The dark side creates a terrible negative, and they never ask it for our approval to do it. They just ignore the free will. They do it with distraction or, or lies or whatever. So, and we can change it by creating a positive energy field. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's it, and, and therefore the towers are very, very useful. And also, you see, uh, we had a very interesting experience in Switzerland. There was a guy. He is a high-ranking member of the United Nations with a diplomatic status. And uh, after a few years, he did the first time a bicycle tour. Yeah, he didn't do any sportive activities. So, and he was cycling, 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 and he said, oh, wow, I have so much energy. Okay, I continue cycling, cycling, cycling. He was did the endless tour, and in the end, he was at the same level of energy like in the beginning, and he was totally surprised. How can this be? So, and then a few days later, he detected our towers. He counterchecked it, and he said, "Wow, that's very interesting." And in Switzerland, in this area, there were so many big towers. And then he, he, he saw the connection. Yeah, in the end, he ordered himself. He was happy at all, and he told me. He has access to a, a huge amount of money from the United Nations for sustainability of nature. And she said, oh, I have a good uh, idea, a good uh, uh, possibility to finance uh, uh, sustainability of nature. I will buy the cosmic tower for all over Europe. So maybe we can uh, find such people. Yeah, who would like to uh, do the job. And I'm also telling to the rich people, but uh, people who think only for themselves, I tell them, you see, we have only one time to win this war. So, and then we don't use this chance now. 
we will all go down and all your money is gone, your life is gone, they will kill your soul, the dark forces, whatever. Yeah. So and therefore uh, just think about what is your responsibility, why you have your money available and, and do something positive with it. Otherwise, the creator will make a sentence of your soul in the end anyway when mankind goes down. Yeah? And when we win this fight, you will get anyway huge amounts of money because all the money of mankind will be given back to mankind. But we have to win the war now. That is mm-hmm. the focus. And not that you stay rich and other people poor and, and we don't do the job. No? We have a task here and, and therefore we are here as a soul and we find together. So, and this one has to be kept in mind, and, and this changes the thinking of people. Yeah, when you reach good people who have some money and try to support it or do some donations or whatever, we can arrange whatever. No problem. So, the greatest support we can have right now is just to re- keep working, doing our inner shadow work, and working into balance and stay focused and balanced with our, in our community and within our friends and whoever we meet. Yeah. to help create that energy balance around us so that this whole war can be won, I hope. Yeah. That's yeah. my piece. Thank you, Tommy. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, <clears throat> some something I said to Harold when he first spoke about these is, um, you know, I've mentioned about technology. And this is not technology. This is more connected to uh, your own technology on a higher plane. Mm-hmm. And um, un- given the time, the, the only issue is time. Because everything else um, is um, on schedule, as I would put it. Now, there is certain things unfolding, um, but we will always have other ways to counteract that will buy us time. And uh, I don't, uh, whilst I understand Harold is saying, you know, time is of the essence, and it is, but we can also buy time in a way. So it allows for the uh, delivery of the frequencies to be spread far and wide. Now, one of the things that I, I would be looking at is um, we talked about investing some of the TPC money. Um, and that's not my choice. Uh, that is your choice. It's your money. It's not mine. Um, whether we could um, get certain devices and then place them in certain regions and then particularly the smaller ones um, and then get people to tune into them whereby then you become the device and then you can pass it on to another member in one of your state groups you know um, and that that's something that I would be looking at now I appreciate there's a certain things that uh, Harold's saying about time, but I think we have enough firepower to supply more time. Certain things have been delayed, lots of things of their their ilk have been delayed and will continue to be delayed despite um, certain funding games that has gone on at the higher levels recently. and so, uh, hopefully, uh, this, should you all approve it, and it appears you have, um, this can go ahead in a smooth manner. And obviously, um, Harold's trying to address certain issues of um, manufacturing time and obviously uh, getting materials and all the other stuff. And maybe uh, that's something to the TBC can help with as well. You know, um, the donations have kind of dropped off in the past couple of months on the TPC but there's still uh, some money in the account about 40,000 I think um, which we can u- use a portion of to develop 
obviously we'd leave some behind because the idea of that until the trust funds comes out is to help support THI members but then this supersedes that in many ways and so one um, we're going to have to wrap it up it's nearly three hours now um, otherwise uh, Michael J will be complaining about the uh, the gigabytes of the files to download this um, so one thing I want to ask uh, is what is the current manufacturing time Harold yeah um, at the moment I'd like to um, um, produce so many devices that we have always a full storage yeah, that we have um, at the moment we uh, the small devices we have a waiting time maybe at the moment of four weeks or five weeks or something like this but I'd like to get rid of this within the next two three weeks that we have the small devices always available uh, we did some measures to raise the production tremendously big powers we have available yeah, this weekend we have uh, another 35 devices 1.8 meter uh, but I place a lot of them now free of charge to empty areas uh, and also I am producing a lot of the bigger ones 2.5 meter so and therefore I like to cover all over Europe and also to be ready when uh, someone like this investor from the United Nations would like to buy certain things that we can deliver immediately uh, this is actually my aim for the whole devices so but then it depends of course on the development uh, how many people will be added or uh, how the order uh, quantity goes up and so on yeah that we have to this is a situation but we incorporated now also bigger companies not only with five or ten employees but real big companies that have the capacity to produce ten times as much uh, uh, this one is already prepared and, and I like to make sure now that you have all the material available I bought maybe 400 kilogram crystals uh, and we need all this double end crystals uh, and they are maybe one percent of all the crystals uh, that means when you have several hundred kilograms you could imagine how difficult it is to get and especially now in corona times uh, many suppliers don't get any deliveries from Brazil this is special crystals uh, so and therefore I buy everything I get now uh, we are very good prepared and, and uh, try to keep the delivery times really very very short uh, and I'm, I'm, we are in a good way to reach this by end of September yes. thank you uh, oh, but before we, uh, Tommy, before we go to the end, yeah. uh, to explain what happened in Germany. Yes, please. It's really very, very interesting to see. Um, the, uh, I think the whole world saw some weeks ago this uh, huge mass uh, uh, protest in Germany with more than two million people. And uh, mainstream media reported, oh, there were just 20,000 persons uh, on the street. Uh, it was a big confusion. However, uh, we were a little bit, uh, um, it was a little bit strange because we saw that the organizers, are, uh, they didn't have a clear aim, it was not structured, it was not uh, the real agenda, the positive, it was wishy-washy, something in between, uh, some positive aspects, but in reality not something that would change. The situation. So, and then um, there came the second event last weekend, and the organizers tried to get 10 million people onto the street. So, and they did everything. And we were wondering whether they have the money in order to finance all these things. Yeah, then uh, the organizers, uh, Querdenken, were being uh, exposed as deep state people. Uh, and they were promoting uh, in Germany this group Verfassungsgegner Versammlung. They tried to get a new legislation for Germany, but we have a legislation and so on. Yeah, we have a country, but not uh, the republic uh, with Angela Merkel as a company. Yeah, so there, are, there are so many negative things. So and 
um, also in the past, the dark side needs energy. Yeah, and they get the energy from the churches, from the football stadium. They suck energy there. Yeah, there is a vampire station actually, a station with football uh, fans. So, and the same thing they try to do in Berlin, the same thing they try to do with mass meditations. I made many videos warning of the mass meditations. You have to be sure or you have to know who is the leader, who is controlling the energy, where does it go, what is the purpose, and so on. Yeah? People are just thinking, oh, that doesn't matter, and and so on. Yeah? It, it's always underestimated. And this weekend in Berlin, they used the dark en uh, the energy of the people in order to fulfill their dark plans. And the temple of Satan is in Berlin. The Pergamon Museum in Berlin uh, contains the Pergamon altar yeah, and the, the gates and so on. So and obviously those uh, this altar was always in Berlin and not in Babylon in Iraq or somewhere else and transported to Berlin. It was obviously built in Berlin and later on hidden as a museum. Yeah, and a friend of mine, she told me it was actually the seat of Satan in Berlin. And they tried to create the energy field in order to put him on, this, on the throne this last weekend. That was the aim. And in order to this, they needed the energy and therefore as much as possible uh, demonstrate uh, demonstrators. So, and therefore, the whole energy field in the center of Berlin was extremely negative, very, very negative toroidal field, yeah, with the Siegessäule yeah, um, on the Straßen is 17 soon on the street. So, and uh, many people got real headache. So, and problem was also... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, and the problem was also this um, event was in conformity with the other event, and the other event was in the higher dimension, because this cosmic war I reported on it uh, on my uh, YouTube channel uh, was continued. Uh, there was a big victory on 22nd of March. Uh, in our galaxy, everything was one. The water we are getting from the healing well uh, was that morning on the 22nd of, of March was so good like 800 years ago, last time. Uh, it was also time deteriorated and with this war, with this fight, 22nd of uh, uh, March, obviously the light forces destroyed some machinery uh, that kept the water on Earth with a low energy. Yeah? And therefore, it was a huge race of energy that they... But later on, uh, the dark forces sent uh, more uh, weaponry and, and spaceships from another galaxy, yeah? because the main gal galaxy for the dark forces is outside our galaxy. So And they saw that they are losing everything here. And therefore, they set bigger fleets from there, but uh, with huge spaceship, 500 kilometers big and so on, yeah, but only a few, yeah, sometimes five pieces with uh, 30 million uh, spiders in it, by the way, spiders. And later on, when all these troops were killed, they sent spaceships with robots. And then they sent the robot spaceships into the war. So, but the robot from the maybe third or fourth or fifth dimension can be taken over by someone from the ninth dimension. If you look just to the program, does some minor changes and the robot will fulfill his orders. So and then those robots were sent back to the motherships. With this one the motherships could be taken over. Yeah, this happened with two spaceships behind the sun. And one of the spaceships was sent back to the one of the centers of the dark forces in a different galaxy. So they were very upset, and therefore they sent a bigger fleet, 2,500 spaceships with a size of 300 by 200 kilometer. Each spaceship is 20,000.
other spaceships on board. Yeah, and this was maybe four, six, or eight weeks ago. So, and there is the same uh, ga game. The guidance was uh, the spaceships were guided by artificial intelligence, yeah, the raptors. So, and also uh, they were destroyed, uh, dematerialized from the to the one of the, uh, the dark side's uh, main place. Answer was a next fleet came, and the dark forces sent two fleets with each one 10,000 spaceships this time. And also, uh, two, three weeks ago, they tried to make a shutdown with electricity in Germany. Yeah, and the light forces prevented this again. And dark forces sent a third fleet to our solar system. And this third fleet uh, was combined with the first two other fleets. And in total, there were 50,000 spaceships with a huge size, 500 kilometer by 350 kilometer. So, and this fleet arrived Monday evening this week here in our area. So, and this was in conformity with the weekend with the negative energy in Berlin. Yeah, that was orchestrated, both things same time. And it was a terrible situation. It was very sharp edge situation, very critical. Yeah, but I got the information um, in time. I spoke also to many uh, of my crew. Yeah, and in the end, we were able to use, I, I arranged Cosmic Tower, additional Cosmic Tower in Berlin. Yeah, before the weekend already, I got already suspicious. We have to do something. I put there three big towers, yeah, two in Berlin and one at the border of the uh, city. So, and uh, then later on, we use the towers in order to combine them into a bigger toroidal field. And we started this one. So, and um, this created an own portal on Monday evening, an own positive energy portal. And we twisted around all the negative energy. And as soon as this portal was ready, yeah, we got another support. I had another friend, I told them and so on. Yeah, and this other friend arranged from a different galaxy light beings coming here down on Earth. And Monday evening there came a crew of 250 million subtle beings as a stream of green white light down here on earth in the middle of Berlin, cleaning all the negative energy fields from dead people, from last centuries, from wars, all the past centuries and so on. And uh, they gave the tremendous positive energy support yeah, and we uh, raised the energy field of this huge toroidal field around Berlin more and more and more. We incorporated all the towers in Germany. We tried to expand the toroidal field to Austria because there were only a few quantity of, of big towers. Yeah, this wasn't successful. We tried to use Switzerland, yeah, this tower there, yeah, but we uh, couldn't really incorporate this into Austria. But with the towers from southern Germany, we reached Austria, and now nowadays all Austria is covered. Yeah, and the toroidal field uh, expands now uh, many thousand kilometers, yeah, even into Poland and so on. It's huge, 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 and it can't be stopped anymore from the dark forces. So when I got the information for Berlin, we need more tower. Yeah, one woman, she could communicate with her big tower, and she was told, yeah, the size is one time, but the quantity of towers is so tremendous that we would need as many as possible towers. Uh, therefore, we tested it. I got the information we need another six. Uh, and I got yesterday's information, and today I put six towers into Berlin. One very big one, and five, 1.8 meter. Uh, and this way we make sure that the field stays stable. We can expand it. 
really, and all the other networks can be connected on this field. But we have a very powerful base. Germany is important due to this um, due to the ley lines all come together in Germany. And therefore, the dark forces are sitting in Germany and control the energy lines. And therefore, they tried to get this twist around last weekend. That was the key point, the key situation, and we were able to pick it around. Yeah? And it was amazing. Yeah? And, and, and also this problem with the side team, what it is in the and the people who can see this. Yeah? And we are continuing this with our big devices yeah? and with a lot of support from good people. Yeah? We are in a very, very good way. Right. Thanks for that, Harold. Um, I'm going to wrap it up now. It's three hours. Yeah. Um, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to invite everyone back on um, Saturday. We're going to have two Zooms on over the weekend. One to discuss how we go forward and help Harold, should you all agree, which judging by the chat, you do. And, and people to come up with ideas of how to push this forward in the various ways so we'll have a zoom on saturday and then sunday we're going to have the first self-help zoom uh for helping people who have been had issues with astral rape so if you've been a victim of that um you're welcome to come along but i ask for the first one just people who have been victims of it to join that call eventually we're going to expand out the self-help into other fields and uh, we can fix it so thank you Harold uh, thank you really also for putting this on and uh, thank you all for attending and um, we'll arrange the, I'll arrange this soon Saturday we'll be able to get more people on board um, uh, not working and then we can decide uh, hopefully how we can all push forward thanks Harold Many, many things. It was nice to speak to you. Welcome. Thank you. Right. Thanks, Carol. Thanks. Thanks.